together, Jerry. Good evening, folks. <laughs> Back yeah, for another nice episode start. of Collective Minds, number 130. How's everybody doing? Oh, Ark, what's up, guys? How's things? Uh, things are things are things. <laughs> try and try not to buy everything I see. Yeah, um, no freaking kidding. And uh, it, see, that's the thing. Like, I applaud Joe, and I, I, I've done this many times with him going smaller scale, where it's so much more comfortable to to impulse buy. Yeah, um, me going or diving into smaller scale stuff. I'm just I'm like, ooh, I want that. Ooh, I want that. Ooh, I want that. Um, yeah. But it, it's so easy to get carried away, just like I did with uh, the omnibus, um, where I'm just like, oh, it's not the price of a statue. But then you buy 10 omnibus in one month, and you're like, I could have easily bought a statue and had a little bit of leftover. Yep. Yep. Um, so it's it's the uh, resist uh, to buy now. Um, That's why I wasn't supposed to buy anything this week, and I bought both those uh, Predator figures, <laughs> dropped $80 on those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which that, that looks really cool. So you bought two. I um, did. Is, so you're buying now in preparation for selling no um you dirty flipper I, if anything i picked it up <laughs> and we'll see if one of my buddies needs it and i'll trade it to him for something oh but yeah, yeah, it, yeah i'm definitely not like listing it on ebay or putting it anywhere but they were so cool and i was lucky enough to find two one was more sealed than the other and that's why i bought that was in part why i bought the second one so but i opened i opened one and they're pretty sweet yeah. Are, are they coming out with more figures than just the, the Predator from Prey? I don't know. This was an exclusive. Uh, I know they have a regular version uh, that was a while ago, but I think that might be about it. They might sit on it. I'm surprised that no statue companies have jumped on that movie yet. I know Franco kicked out the... I don't even think it was an STL file. Like You couldn't download it, but he kicked out like the mock of one that he, yeah. he did over a weekend because he liked the movie so much. I think some of the statue companies are missing the opportunity on that movie. That was pretty highly ranked on people's lists of predator movies. Would you put the, uh, the, the girl that's in that movie, would you kind of put her up there with uh, Sigourney uh, Weaver from aliens or uh, Sarah Connor um, aspect of, of those movies? Sure. Why not? I thought she did pretty good. Yeah. Jerry, you watched this movie, right? I did. The Prey, right? You're talking about Prey? Yeah. yeah it was good. I, I really enjoyed that movie. Yeah, do, you, do you think it's going to be a, a classic? Um, I, think, the, the I think it has the potential to be you know, be like an alien or be like a, a predator or something. Yeah. I mean, um, Terminator? Well, it is Predator. Terminator, I meant. <laughs> yeah. It is predator. I'll be interested to see where they take no, it. No, but be like that became not oh you know, the, yeah the original like the original it could become the cult a cult classic like the original sorry i think it's the best one since those yeah it's good i, I, I think it might be better than the original kind of no you I can't go beat, that far. yeah you can't beat the originals for their time but i would put this as the best kind of modern one that's come out of any of those franchises i, I would say it's number two in uh predator um, Predator franchise. It's it's number two for me, anyways. Um, well, I've only seen the first one, so I like <laughs> I like the first one, and I liked this one. But this was better than all of the like Alien, the new Alien ones, where they tried to go a little too scientific. The Alien um, versus Predator? Are you talking? Well, about? Alien versus Predator, uh, or um, the new Predator Requiem. Um, or the the really new Alien movies that I guess now like are kind of good. Yeah, like those tie-ins. Yeah, I thought this was better. Yeah, but but is uh, man, so so with the the new Alien movies, I think what stands those apart or makes those special is it's got um, the what's Michael uh, Fassbender. Like I yeah. I, just, I love him as an actor. Um, so even though the movie kind of the script sucks, the fact that he's in it kind of makes me more likely that I'll watch any alien movies that they come out with that's got him in it. 
he should have been thrown. <laughs> I stand uh, by who that. Is this guy? Who is guy? Uh, the guy, Young Magneto. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I could pick him out of a lineup. Oh, jeez. He's done well. Watch, even even as Magneto, you, he's done well. Have yeah. you watched Band of Brothers? Uh, yeah, I watched the one that was the European theater. Oh, I think I watched the Pacific theater too. The Pacific he was in one the Band of Brothers. Yeah, the one in Euro. The Euro one. I watched that one. Yeah, where yeah, Easy, uh, Easy Company. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. He was the guy. He was the 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 lieutenant that was like all the the everyone kind of a leader. Like a, no. Yeah, well, I mean, he was the one that, that everyone thought was like, like, oh my god, he's a like stone cold killer. No, okay, I think I know who he is. No, he yeah. wasn't. <laughs> no, anyone was scared of him, but he he just ended up being just, you know, he made I some. Don't think so. I think that was him, wasn't it? He was that character. Don't think so. <laughs> I think I, I think I know the character you're thinking of, and I don't believe that was him. Okay, maybe I am oh, wrong. Ramon left. I didn't. Even, we didn't even get to say hi. No, I he's, he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I kind of spun us off or out of control. But Jerry, you didn't watch the a lot of the new X Men movies. Being an X Men fan, that's yeah, why he didn't I, watch them. <laughs> no, I didn't watch a lot of any Marvel after. I watched Iron Man, and I don't didn't watch a lot of Marvel after that. And then the stuff I did, I got really disappointed in. Uh, I've really liked um, the the new X Men stuff. And I mean, I'm don't get me wrong. Oh, I watched I the Captain the America stuff. too, the one with uh, the Red Chris Skull, Evans. Winter Soldier. No, sorry, no, the, one the first that. Avenger. The, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that movie was that was a, okay. It was a flop. Winter Soldier was the best one. Yeah, well, I'll go I watch that, that, but it better be good. Oh, it better, it better not be like that friggin' Man of Steel movie you got me to watch. No, Winter Soldier's better than that, but <laughs> Civil War's better than Winter Soldier. Uh, I don't think no, so. No, I think Winter Soldier's written way better. I, I, think, I think Winter Soldier like, may be one of the best Marvel movies to come out. Like Civil, Winter, I mean, Winter Soldier's like, it's not, it, it doesn't even, it's not even a comic movie. It feels like a real movie. Yeah. yeah comic Civil, characters. Civil War, you could be sitting next to like a friend and you might be on different sides, like Team Iron Man or Team Captain America. Well, that's oh, you mean a like real YouTube? easy way to get rid of some friends. I guess. <laughs> I, I I don't know if I want to ask you which team you were on then. <laughs> the, the the only side that you need to be on? The, the Cap side? Oh, I was Iron Man. Oh, wow. I was Team Cap. <laughs> Ed, Edwin likes uh, Winter Soldier as the best. Yeah. yeah. I had to stomach my way through uh, Captain Jerry, I think you would like night. Winter Soldier. I think you don't even know it's a comic movie halfway. Like, well, when you're watching, I don't know if I want that. <laughs> I, I mean, mean some guy a... running around with a shield, you know, pretty quick it's a comic, like especially because of what the shield does when he throws it. Um, That's true, too. But, or the fact I mean, he just... jumps out of an airplane with no parachute. <laughs> I, mean, I just thought it was like a super like espionage movie. I get it. I'll start catching up on someday on this stuff. <laughs> Actually, I should have done it over the winter when the weather was absolutely horrible and I was snowed in. Maybe you should put a TV in the garage and watch them while you do work on the statues. Yeah, but then I don't pay attention. I can't watch movies that way. That's funny because you don't work on the statues either. So yeah, so yeah, that'd be just said <laughs> two things I don't get done. All right. Well, <laughs> say hi to Ramon. Ramon how's it going? <laughs> What's well, uh Sorry, guys. Those internet issues. You still haven't hung the pictures. What's your excuse? Fuck, I know. Busy life <laughs> <laughs> mapping it out. I still haven't got the the uh, the art back from the framing yet. So was that once that weeks? comes back, yeah, they said two weeks. So probably later this week. Um, I'll get that, and I could kind of map out how I want to set it up. They're busy scanning it. Yeah, printing you out duplicates. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna send. They're gonna send the originals to to Arc. <laughs> Ark would have been happy with the scans. Yeah, I know. I don't want the original. <laughs> Let me upload them somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Sterling, like Blade, I guess, is the best Marvel movie. I did Blade watch was that. Really, it was well done too. I thought yeah. it was the first, it was the one that launched everything. I just recently watched it, and 
uh, it was okay. Get they kept me entertained, but I didn't think it was. Uh, did you have your glow sticks at the beginning? Did I have glow sticks? <laughs> so did that I... uh, techno song that they played when they were all dancing before they were sprayed with blood. I remember going on Napster and trying to find that song and found it just so I could listen to it while I had to cut the grass. Like I, 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 you know, back then you would have to download it and then put it on a CD. Uh, and then I had my, my port or my, uh, um, CD player in a, a little belt pouch. This <laughs> man. Yeah. I had one that, uh, you know, was anti skip. That was the big thing for the CD players. Um, but yeah, I, I remember that, that blade movie, uh, the first one was awesome. Second one, I didn't like at all. And then the third one, which most people hate, I actually enjoyed the third one. But but it's because of Ryan Reynolds. I was okay with the third one. I didn't I realize there was more one. than one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm starting to pick up a pattern. You don't really go past the first movie. Well, most of them don't deserve a sequel. Jerry thinks Star Wars uh, ended it. You're, episode you're four. not wrong. <laughs> Once he realized that the uh, that Luke and Leia were brother and sister, he's like, "I'm not watching yep, these. I'm out of this. I'm out. <laughs> this is ridiculous." Second Death Star. <laughs> uh, what about you, Ramon? Where Where do you fill in the Blade uh, trilogy or tri trilogy? Tri yeah. Trinity? Trilogy? Like, how do I? Where do I rank it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, for Blade, I only liked one and two, personally. Oh, so goodness. I don't know. <laughs> Which one had Triple H in it? That was, that that was, was the third one. one. What is which, Triple H? Which, anytime they do wrestler. wrestling moves in the wrestler. movies, I, I hate it. <laughs> oh, don't be a hater, Art. I mean, I like wrestling, <laughs> um, but they should keep it separate. Let's, let's not do wrestling. You don't like seeing The Rock do rock bottoms in every movie at least once? You didn't like <laughs> Batista as a... As, uh... Drax? I liked him as Drax. I, I thought he did yeah. a great job uh, separating himself from the the wrestling role to the, the movie. But he didn't powerbomb anybody, Danny. That's true. Yeah. I mean, The Rock, you're going to get his, his eyebrow. Not Mr. Kennedy does not want to hear anything bad about Blade. Well, we didn't say anything bad about Blade. Yeah, Blade 1 is Well, is I might great. have said that it wasn't fabulous. I mean, it was it was okay. I kept I stayed, I was entertained. And so I watched the whole movie. I didn't, I didn't uh, peace out. But I, I, as far as you know, if we're pop culture stuff goes, I think that Alien and uh, Predator and, and uh, uh, those are those are bigger movies for me than Blade was. Oh yeah, I mean I I agree. Yeah. Box office agrees. <laughs> <laughs> but where do you rank uh, the thing? Wait, where? What are we ranking it against? Against everything, as far the, as ju the 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 eighty four the Kurt Russell one, yeah, the only one. Jeez, I have only you know I probably <laughs> saw that in like nineteen eighty four, so and haven't seen it since. I can't even That's remember too... much about it. That might be a top like ten to, movie for me. I, I might have to go back and watch it over again. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I I don't remember that much about it. I would love to watch that again. With all of you watching it, and then argue the end with Jerry <laughs> well, about who he thinks is the thing at the end, or if even any of them are the thing. Maybe neither of them are the thing. Maybe they both are the thing. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, there's 40 minute YouTube videos debating the end of that movie. Really? Jeez, I gotta rewatch this movie. Yeah, it's great. If it was, I watched that it when ending, I was a kid also, and I didn't, I don't remember it much. The ending is what makes that movie special. Uh, the whole movie is special. Every, because there's, everything about it. There's not a definitive ending. Is it better than Tombstone? Yes. Uh, See, I'm with I, you, Jerry. I love Tombstone. It's up there with Tombstone. I mean, Tombstone's timeless as well. I feel bad for the other one that came out at the same time. Wyatt Earp. That came out the oh, same the, year the as Tombstone. With, um, <laughs> uh, Kevin Costner? Yeah. Same year. Same movie, basically. And... Just tombstones. Dude, that was it. like they did that with like Deep Impact and and uh, Armageddon, Armageddon, like yeah. ants and Bugs Life. Armageddon's an all timer too. Yeah, Armageddon. Is... What are you doing with a gun in outer space? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best line ever. Uh, we'll get back to comics though. As far as 
I, I would say so. I watched Madam Web. Not only is it the worst comic book movie, <laughs> but I would say that that movie is the worst movie I've ever watched. And I watched Legally Blonde in theaters. Um, I would say Madam Web is the the absolute worst thing to ever come out. <laughs> did you ever see you Nightmare, of, Nightmare I, of Shadowwood? I did not. <sighs> Jerry, I did don't not. watch Madam Web. You'll just be furious. You'll be angry. Well, I probably won't do that then. Mark, what's your favorite <laughs> MCU movie? My favorite MCU movie, man. Um, it, it's going to be a toss-up between um, the first Iron Man movie and the first Avengers movie. Because I, I, I still, I think the first Avengers movie, you know, we kind of never saw anything like that where you had all these movies come together and, you know, everybody had kind of their own story type thing and to bring them all together to one film. Um, and, and, you know, after you, after you've seen all of the MCU, when you go back, yeah, there's some cheesy moments with the, the first Avengers, but it's still, I, I remember watching it and just being kind of like in awe, um, seeing all those characters brought together. So I, it, it's kind of a toss to it, but then, you know, like we were saying, Winter Soldier, um, that gets thrown in there. I mean, that's uh, it, it's between those three as far as the MCU. I think Iron Man one is my favorite. Well, I should just stop now. I've seen that. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. What about you, Danny? I mean, it's like it's hard. I mean, like it's hard to pick. You're goddamn one. right. So I'll give you like my top five. No, I asked for number one. <laughs> I mean, geez. Ark even bled it to three. <laughs> well, I mean, like what everything Ark said is is one of my favorites. Right? Winter Soldier, uh, the original Avengers. All right, you're and, sick at home tomorrow. You, you're watching and one. You just said, and you just said Iron Man. So, I think those top those are my top three too. But if I had to pick one, I would have to say Avengers, just because you got everybody. Ramon. Yeah, probably the same. All right, Joe. I would say Only after that, Joe, phase one. Joe, after that, I would say Civil War. Because I do think Civil War is good, and it's kind of like an Avengers movie. I mean, you have so yeah. many of the characters there. Um, so it, you, none of you even said Winter Soldier. You were just raving about that, and that didn't even... No, I just said, I, I said yeah, Winter Soldier. Yeah, top three. No, I wasn't listening to you, Joe. <laughs> What's new? What's new? <laughs> but, I, I, so I will say this, though. It, as far as movies versus TV shows... Jerry's wearing a Daredevil shirt um, and hat. The the Netflix series Daredevil trumps everything MCU to me. Yeah, but I got burned out on that too. I kind of watched. <sighs> I don't know if it trumps everything. I never watched it. I, I think I got somewhere into the second season and I was like, all right, I, enough of this. Once Jerry realized he was blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody said Black Panther. Ah, oh, that movie was awful. Yeah, can... No, Black Panther wasn't awful. No, Black Panther was, was awesome awful. in Civil War, but the Black Panther movie was the trash. first or second. No, both. He no, said first, oh my. first one was fine. Yeah, first one was alright. Again, one... it's better than like um, Marvel, Captain Marvel. The first. I don't Guardians think Black Panther is top too. tier, but it's good. It was a good, solid movie. I'll watch uh, Captain Marvel before I watch Black Panther again. Wow. You're tripping, bro. Yeah, now <sighs> you're kind of like... Cut this fool's mic. Already, huh? Can I do that? <laughs> Pull out of here. <laughs> where, where <laughs> <happened to her? laughs> that's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Was, that that was messed everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I think, three shows that have done that to me now. <laughs> <laughs> But it hurts even more when it's your own show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have the right tier. I can add myself back. <laughs> Can't force me out. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, man. So I heard Prime 1 showcases next Friday. For all you I statue know. buyers, what are you looking for? Fucking scared. I don't want to know. Yeah, Ramon's yeah, really mean, the nervous one of us. 
Yeah, they're gonna have more of that video game shit, Ramon. You're gonna be buying shit. Am that. I the only one that buys shit now, or what? And I and I, I barely buy shit. Well, it's you and Jerry, Jerry's. but <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> I've been Jerry. buying some. Well, Jerry's I mean, not buying any of that stuff. You're buying. If they show more Lord of the Rings stuff. It's like okay. I mean, I, that ship has sailed, unfortunately. But yeah, the gaming stuff. I actually, there's nothing else I could be. They'll get me for. I've got. The games, the top games that I love. Yeah, but what if got, they make another statue. one from those games that they hooked you on? What if they make something better than what you've already got? Nah. The bar's pretty low on the second game version. <laughs> nah. I mean, yeah. a quarter scale Donkey Kong? If now, they made a Last the, uh, of Us geez. 2 statue that's better than the two that you're talking about, I'd probably cancel the two and then just get that one if that was the case. Nah, they'll wait till yeah. their ships, then they'll show it. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we get a uh, Last of Us statue of uh, that, what is it, the second episode where the the dudes are belly to belly in the bed? Um, if I can oh get yeah, that, <laughs> that kind of looks like you too, Lark. I know you're talking about. <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if Prime One is burned out on the DC license, I and mean, I, you know, I I wonder if How they're many fucking Batman's. Can you make? Oh, according I mean, to BSC, they Jesus. are. Oh, uh, what does he say? He said that they're the one thirds. The DC one third just aren't selling for him. That's what they've told him, or that's what he's claiming they told him. Oh, and that, and that's why they're going to stick to the movies or like the anime stuff. I think that's that's maybe the bigger sellers. And they said they were going down to quarter, but none of that's gone up for pre order yet. So who knows? Well, yeah, Constantine yeah. Constantine, Quarter's Constantine, interesting. Did. Constantine did, but that's through Sideshow, wasn't it? I don't think no, so. No, you could get it through Prime One, but you could also get it through Sideshow, couldn't you? Uh, I don't know. I miss. I, I paid no attention to it, hoping Sideshow would show us what the hell their Constantine looked. Well, like. that's where I was confused on if they had got the quarter scale like license, because if I don't know if Sideshow would allow them to sell their stuff in the U.S. competing with Sideshows like Superman and Sideshows Batman. Yeah, no, Const I don't know. Constantine's but, different. But that's like Twitter that doing Two Face. But that Constantine's going to look just like the print, Jerry, that they teased. Do you think the one with him sitting in front of the gravestone? I, I yeah. That works. It doesn't work for me. I, I, I think that's what I'm pretty – if I had to bet, that's what I'm betting on. The, the only statue that I enjoy having that's sitting down is Thanos on throne. Like, that to me works. What about the XM Doctor Strange? That's a good sitting statue. True. Yeah. 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 But the, the sideshow one's better. Uh, it just, hmm, I don't know. I, well, I would say, well, Ark, you say you long. say sitting down. How can you like? It's not like he's. It's not a throne statue. I, I I'm with you. I'm kind of like tired of the throne statues. I feel like Doctor Doom, um, the first sideshow, and the Thanos on throne are probably two of the best throne statues out that's been oh, made. Absolutely, I would even then, say Magneto on throne, even though he's, he's kind yeah, of that's on that's a good scale. one too. I could live with that one also, but I think this one is is it just still. Tells a story. I mean, he's in you know, front of the sitting down, in front of the graves, uh, the gravestone, and showing a little bit of the, whatever he was doing, power wise or whatever. I don't know. I think it's good. Danny's waiting know. for a, there are flames or some shit. I think in the I can't remember now. Danny's waiting for Professor X not on throne. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, well, X well, you can't that you can't get away with that one. <laughs> you can't. Well, he, he can't stand he up. Can't, well, there he can't was a, walk. There was a he time where before. he can walk. Yeah. <laughs> So they could do a version of him from whenever, like the. Whenever he goes to the Shi'ar Empire, he finds a way of getting his legs back for some yeah. reason. Yeah, I mean, if we could see Professor X in like a a basketball uniform, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, there was one. Jeez. There was an ep, There was an issue where he was playing basketball. Yeah, like the whole time he's just constantly playing basketball, <laughs> and then he's like, Dude, hey, I I'm love be those the leader issues. of the X Men now. When they're playing <laughs> baseball or softball, and they're playing basketball as a team. Oh, I haven't got to the uh, softball. Uh, or hey, the to, cool Ster side. to Sterling's point in the comments, I, I mean, yeah, even sideshows getting in this game where these statues are freaking super tall, making it really hard to display. So that's another issue. Only for Maja case people. <laughs> I mean, okay, well, who else? I mean, shit, you want to keep adjusting garage shelves? I didn't have any tops on my shelving when I did statues. You didn't do it right, Joe, so... So I think I didn't have 13 <laughs> stuffed on a magic case either. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> I, I think one third, they should uh, not have anything above them. I, I think that is uh, a half shell or shelf 
type thing with them on top, nothing above them. Uh, artwork behind them, that's kind of how I do it. Um, and obviously, my opinion is the only way to display. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, one third. <laughs> I think it's, of course, Jerry's got one third behind him with shelves <laughs> above him. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, one third is so Fuck big. Fuck with the wrong Marine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was worried. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I think they kind of, uh, they need to be top dog displayed. Uh, Jerry doesn't have any options. You're lucky we see them. <laughs> okay, but back to the question. What do you what do you think or what do you want to see or not to see from Prime 1 Showcase? Oh, uh, I you want you want me to answer? I could answer. Well, preferably you're Ramon. You guys are the ones that buy it. Ark puts one on <laughs> payment plan a year. He just got Green Lantern. Maybe he well, the, only thing I'm interested, the only thing I'm interested in is their DC one third. That's what I've got. So from them. So maybe a flash. Hey, I've got five. Uh, uh flash would be probably. okay. I would like to see um Starfire. I think they could sell that. And I, I could was put just it, about to ask, like Teen Titans, if they open yeah, up the Teen Titans. I could put it you? with uh They've got two Nightwings. What well, it could go with one of them? Yeah, Donald uh, hit. That would be that would be Star <laughs> Wars. But yeah, well, the problem is I I, I can't go down that line. <laughs> if they started a one third Star Wars line, that might get me on a payment plan, like a Vader. Yeah, they would kill it if they did. Uh... I mean, as long as they do. I mean, the helmeted characters, yes, but when it. You have to to go to the the actor's likeness. I think so many times it's it's a hit or miss type thing where it can completely destroy your line you're trying to build. I think we've talked about it before, but if they went with like the mythos style where they you could even make it it's supposed to be a movie piece, but went with that artistic a little bit of a twist on the likeness where they're not even trying to hit Mark Hamill necessarily. They're just making it Luke. Yeah. Well, I mean, but look then at the, it becomes uh, like Lord Family of the Rings. Guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, their Lord of the Rings are are not a hundred percent perfect, but no one seems to be complaining, too. Yeah. Yeah. But how do you guys feel about when a company does a movie when it's like it's not even popular anymore? Like, like when Lord of the Rings was in its hot, or you know, it's. You know, everybody was going to see it in theaters and stuff. Like, why couldn't we get statues then? Well, because that would have been 25 years ago and we didn't yeah. have the technology. Technology. We <laughs> well, yeah, but like Queen completely missed like the boat on the MCU. Ago. They should have been coming out with these a decade yeah. ago when the hype was there. Nobody's interested in the MCU so much anymore. Ticket sales say so. Yeah. So yeah, but that's only been around. They might not even have been around then, were they? No, uh, they weren't. But I think it's also the movie, too. It's like, if they really, they didn't really hold the test of time, then I guess. Yep. Is there a movie that's come out recently that you think they could take? Like, I know, who, who, is it Prime that's doing Dune? Yeah. Yeah, they have yeah. one on slate. Yeah, like they, they were, they're doing Dune sessions, which Doom is very popular. You know, it did really good at the, the movies. And was whatnot. the first movie, was that long? The one from the 80s? I, I wasn't didn't around watch the 80s. It was a long run time. You're talking about Dune? Sure. You and yeah. Danny were the only ones alive. Uh, yeah, I Danny, didn't watch yeah, Dune. Yeah, you, other movie. You, yeah, you weren't alive for um, for um, John Carpenter's thing either. But that was watch. worth watching. <laughs> well, that, did you like Dune? The, the uh, first one, no. The first one's bad. The so you bad. so you would recommend watching the second one without having seen the first one? Yes. No, you need to watch the first one. No, 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 hell's no, going no, no, on. No, no, Ramon, he's no, talking, talking about, about original. the original. Dune. Oh no, the no, 80s. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't have house. to watch that Dune to enjoy the the new Dune. Hmm. Are we back to what's <laughs> timeless now? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I've missed a few weeks. We, I guess we, I they're think trying. They to, it's fine. So I they think tried I know to who with this the viewer is. I'm going to refer to him as Mr. K. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. But I think they tried to get on the Battenson 
train. A lot of companies have tried to get on that one on time. And see, I, th- I think that was a miss because that's, yes, the best Batman movie, but he's not the best Batman. Well, yeah. No, but you asked. I didn't, I'm not even saying that it's timeless, but that's one that they seem to be trying to pump statues out for as the movie's been coming out. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's I, I mean, I guess statue companies have to do it. They kind of have to see if what movies stand the test of time. Um, because, I mean, mostly now there's so many remakes. Um, and then they're, they're, they're bad. Um, so I, I don't know, but I mean, is there a movie that you've seen recently that you would love to have a statue of it? Like, is there something that you're like, Oh, that movie was so awesome. I would love to have. Well, some we were kind just of talking about prey, but that was how, when that come out a year ago. Yeah. So that, I think that is fits the bill. Right. I mean, I don't do, I don't collect movies, so it doesn't matter to me. Oh, they can, you know, whatever. I don't have any movie properties of, except for a little bit of Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, I and would even, say none. I'm trying to think of other movies. Because <laughs> like, I, I jumped on the MCU for like Hot Toys, and that I ended up, okay, I don't really like these as much. It was just during that time, they were like Hot Toys was pumping out a lot of the figures that looked exactly like how they looked like on screen. So I was like, I got caught up in the hype and they looked great. But then, then I was like, oh, I need, I need more room on my shelf for Star Wars stuff, which, which held the test of time for me. And those MCU were the first to go. Yeah. I also want, I want to know. So Donald's picture, are they playing paintball or are they going snow skiing? I took it as I think snow. They're going snowboarding. Yeah, I took that they're, as snow. I say they're snow. I say they're skiing. Snowboarding. They're big into paintball. Have you ever played paintball? No. It hurts oh. like hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. No, I, I want you don't Jane, get hit. Not that I'll buy it, but <laughs> Jane D to do uh, Daniel Craig, 007, or Sean Connery. Uh, Sean Connery was the worst. No, those are the top two. Daniel Craig was such a better Bond. Um, yeah, I would rank him one. Yeah. But I think he had better movies, too. Yeah, of course. I mean, Sean Connery had a helicopter in a briefcase. And you had, uh, what was this, log jaw or something jaw? Jaws. The, the metal, metal bike. He used I mean, Jaws, right? Yeah. Oh, was that, was, oh that was the worst. You guys watch wrestling. You're going to start dissing on Bond movies? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, the out the top hat. I can it was like <laughs> razor sharp. Um, uh, Jerry, what would you say the worst movie you've ever watched is? Don't get him started. He's oh gonna boy. go on forever. <laughs> no, uh, just one. The uh, worst movie I ever watched. Yeah. Um, uh, well, it was probably like a drama that I had no interest in watching. It was Barbie. No, I didn't okay. watch that. <laughs> a, a movie that you were excited to watch Ooh. and it just fell short. Oh, I can answer this, but we'll let we'll go down the line. I have one. Huh. I'm gonna have to think. So go ahead, Joe. Okay. Go... I, I worked at a movie theater and Halloween one, Rob Zombie's Halloween one, I thought was great. And when Halloween two came out, I refused to go in the theater that whole day. Like I'd start the movie and just walk away because I had tickets for Friday night. And I was so disappointed when I watched that movie. So the second Halloween by Rob Zombie. Oh, biggest, I've got one. Biggest letdown for the, me. The last Halloween I thought was the biggest letdown, where he's old and. I don't even watch those. Those are those are garbage. But it had, just, they brought back Jamie Lee Curtis. Like she had died in one of them, and they brought her back. Yeah. Um, to me, that was the worst one. Jerry, what's your, what's your worst movie? Well, it's probably going to make uh, some people mad, but The Phantom Menace. I was, you know, uh, I was super hyped up for Star the, the Star Wars prequels and went into that thinking, okay, this is going to be, you know, great like Star Wars was. And I was after it, I got out of it. And I said, what the hell did I just watch? You know. <laughs> so I can go easily right after Jerry. So mine was the sequel trilogy. Oh, uh, like, I was okay. actually excited. And then I was really disappointed. See, Who I was I was already prepared for failure after watching the prequels, so I knew the sequels were going to suck. But I never walked out of the theater with the sequels 
like pissed off. The Halloween when I walked out pissed off. Like I was like, this is fucking <laughs> awful. But with Star Wars, even the sequels, I walked out and I was like, huh, well, at least it was a Star Wars movie. <laughs> That's true. I did sit through them. <laughs> yeah. Edwin says the only Howard movie I've ever walked out of <laughs> was um that uh Love and Thunder. That's the only one I walked out of, so that has to be the worst thing. <laughs> I watched that to the bitter end. So that and that and that was very disappointing. Yeah. That yeah, one that was I was like, cool. I was like, I'd rather have my time than to sit through this. So so Mark Bucks, he uh he says Blade Runner. Is he talking about the original or the new one? I've never watched like, it. Yeah. So I went back and I watched the original Blade Runner. And everybody, you know, went on and on about how awesome it was because I wanted to watch it before I watched uh, the second one. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, this is, you know, a classic type movie. <laughs> and it was awful. Or the was duck. Like, this this movie is supposed to take place in the future and they've got newspapers still. I was like, come on. <laughs> 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 it was it was terrible. Um, I, I didn't care much for the second one either. The, the you know, the one. fifth element was really weird too. And that that has become like this cult classic. And I don't get that, that was, at all. That like, what the hell I don't the understand people, why that's so big. What the hell do people I, see? I in love there? the fifth element. I, I liked it, it too. <laughs> yeah. Corbin has Dallas multi pass. <laughs> has there been a statue that's been teased that super let you down? A statue? We are a statue show for the most part. Yeah. Like, at least. <laughs> are we going to talk statues? <laughs> Um, <laughs> just one that was teased and then you were like oh sweet Constantine's coming and then they show him sitting next to a tombstone and you're like F <laughs> if he's laying down yes that will be my number one um, I don't a, want to see him laying he's down, laying that's, down. That's, that's disappointing ooh but another one man I don't know I need more time to think about that one yeah I gotta think uh, there's, I'm sure there's been statues I've been disappointed about <laughs> Um, but I'm going to have to, well, I guess it wouldn't happen here if they were disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll say the Dazzler, like I was excited to see a Dazzler statue and then what they came out with. I was just kind of like, Hey, 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 you're pissing on my PO now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't uh, convince myself to buy that one. Um, That's awesome. You'll, what are you you'll talking buy about? It. It's just like Dazzler. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like Dazzler's character, but I don't know. <laughs> Dazzler may be one of those that I'll wait for uh, Diamond Select to make. Oh, my God. <laughs> she, that's about how much she's worth. Uh, like, I wouldn't want to invest PF money into the, the character if there was a Diamond Select version. Well, of what, Dazzler? Yeah. She was part well, there's of a the, Bowen. You could go get the Bowen. She was part of the, the Phoenix Saga. But I mean, I would get her for the old days, for the you know around X Men one hundred and thirty where she came out. I don't want any of the, I don't want that ridiculous looking blue leotard with a big sunburst on it and a and a bandana tied around her head. How oh, dare you? We had those in our slides today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, didn't uh, Ho Jose came out with a, a new exactly? We have Jose's day. pictures on our slides today. <laughs> <laughs> Bowen did a dazzler, Jose. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You want to bet? <laughs> oh man, I, I was looking at some some uh, Bowen statues. Or at, le um, at least the, at least he teased it or something. I didn't buy it, but there was a dazzler. I'm gonna go find it now. <laughs> I, I was looking at the <laughs> Bowen uh, Destroyer. Okay. My Thor display. Um, That's a nice one. Yeah, I like it. I think that one definitely holds up. Yeah. Oh, the I, disco version. There is nothing but the disco version, Jose. <laughs> we need to, we're going to have to beat this guy. <laughs> Wait, don't ban him until we show him show his pictures. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought we only ban him if we uh, do a, another game show. Oh yeah, we get, I was thinking about. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do another kahoot. I'm gonna put one together for next week. So, and then um, ban Jose. And then we gotta kick Jose out. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, when are you? When are you missing again? Is it next week? Mean? Or is it in May? Yeah, next week I'm gone. Damn. 
And I'll bet you didn't finish the game for this week. I didn't. But we had homework. <laughs> we had homework. That homework thing. We had homework plus plus my thing. Which do you want first? Uh, let's do the homework. Okay. That way, if uh, Ramon didn't do it, we can wait. We had homework. <laughs> yeah, we have. Well, we always have homework. <laughs> the fuck is this, man? I feel like back in school. She you probably didn't attend a, school. We need a graphic that says homework yeah. session. My my slideshow starts with homework. So, God damn, I did it right, Danny. All right, Joe, I you know, go I gotta first. start doing slides. Well, explain what the homework was. Okay, so this was. I guess it was my idea, right? Um, unless it was somebody else's. It was yours. <laughs> <laughs> it was a statue you have seen where you wish it was in a different scale. If it was a different scale, you would have bought it. And, and it, when when I started putting this together and I started finding these pieces, I was very tempted to buy. <laughs> so I, could, I did I, the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, um, if I can't have Wait, it, one of my, scale, my, one of my I pieces I actually own. I just want it upscaled. Well, Jose's not going to be here next week either. Danny, th- you're not going to show a bunch of dick pics, right? Wow. <laughs> you? Jesus. You're, you're talking Jeez. about one the upscale. <laughs> 41 minutes, Jerry. Yeah, I, thought we were, I, thought it was, I thought it was statue, not real life. It, it was statue. And then and then we weeded out that if if it was scaled up like an old school piece, it got refined, basically. Nice. It was the same statue, but got refinement to it. So it wasn't just like a one-tenth Iron Studios blown up to one-third scale. And you got the one-tenth detail. No, you get you get some detail upgrades if you're going up. You get the idealized version of it upscaled. Sounds good. Ooh, look at the background and all. Fancy. I, know. It's a, I just I keep reusing these things, man. I just changed the pictures out. <laughs> That's Danny's DNA. Jeez. Don't tell him. <laughs> mine, mine has a smaller splatter. <laughs> I know your girlfriend, the sample she sent. How so dare small. you? <laughs> no, my. <laughs> okay. I want to see this, this done. Guy. Like one sixth or one quarter, and I want to see. I know, yeah, like, but that's three statues. Oh, well, Dude, I told you, I was quarter, picking the dial. yeah, you could pick one of them. Okay, well, <laughs> pick one. Uh, and I want to see the Asian collector that puts the whole collection together in one quarter. Well, you have one on the panel, it's not gonna Danny. be Danny, <laughs> he's it's not gonna be me. I live in America. <laughs> <laughs> These three were 5k. Yeah, so yeah, so this that what Joe's talking about would be thirty grand or so. Yeah, there's people out there that would buy it. Okay, so even if we just wanted an art statue collector would have even even if we just wanted one, it'd be the first one. Size. So the far left one, Mm -hmm. if you made it like one quarter scale. No, you can have all three. I was just teasing. (laughs) But I thought that would be just for the sake of seeing it. I want to see somebody's collection. Put that together. That sentinel will be fucking massive. It would be. Yeah. But it'd yeah. be cool. <laughs> but if this was quarter scale, do you think you would need another X-Men collection? Like no. if you went all in on this. If you have this in one it? tenth, I don't think you need another X-Men collection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, how tall do you think kinda... that sentinel would be in quarter scale? Like six feet tall? That's that's a smart guy, Jerry. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> how tall would how tall would that sentinel be in quarter scale? Well, how like, tall is a real sentinel? Feet? I don't know. Like depends geez, on I how you scale you it. Too. Well, you have to assume rogue right there is like I don't know five something. So that's got to be like twenty five feet, thirty feet. I'll, I'll say right now those sentinels are are equivalent of a one third scale statue. Okay, so we'll just say one sixth. Upscale it to one sixth. Which is like the XM size. Yeah. Okay. Which is which, like a dining room table. <laughs> which is awesome, yeah. <laughs> what, how tall are they now? One, those are one. I mean, Sentinels came in all no, different No, but with the actual height of the statue. Oh, I think they're like 33 inches tall, these diodes. Yeah. Well, so if you went to one-fifth, they'd be 66 inches tall. Yeah, which is insane. So we'll make them <laughs> one-sixth would be comfortable for that one Asian collector that would buy it. <laughs> And post pictures <laughs> everywhere. 
So that was that was my first pick. Closing in on six teams. Oh wow. Second one was this. I think this is the best Killer Croc done. And I've said if I went back to the DC statues, I would go quarter scale, not one third. But I think this far exceeds the the sideshow one. See, to hmm. me, and I know I'm a bit of a hypocrite because my sideshow croc that I've displayed right now does not have the crocodile portrait. But to me, I like that crocodile portrait. And this one didn't come with one. Um, so I I don't know. Even if it was quarter scale, I, I love the fact that he's wearing the, the Arkham you know, orange pants to make it, you know, hey, he's locked up. I I, I would do a whole line in the uh, the orange jump sheets or, or jump jump seat. Jump um, but yeah, but I, I I prefer for whatever reason the uh, the crocodile portrait. I would have given you that had I known. I've got it. It just oh, doesn't you use said it. Yours, I thought you said yours doesn't have the crocodile portrait. Not right now. I've gone to use it, but. Uh, Oh, you have the yeah. So you have the EX. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the better Croc, but that's my opinion. Yeah, um, I mean, this looks looks more like Suicide Squad version. Similarly, <laughs> I think this is the best Harley I've ever seen, and I would like it in one quarter. Wow, I agree with that. Because Sideshow has the the Jester, which I'm not a big Jester fan. I like the modern look, but the only modern one. Is the hell on wheels and i don't really i owned it but i didn't really care for that one this one i really like yeah i think this is the best costume for her i, I would buy it in uh course i mean i would buy this costume but her standing because again get off your <laughs> ass I, I don't want you to sit down on something <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> This was Iron Studios one tenth. I'm surprised nobody's done a blown up version of it of the snap. For as iconic of a moment as it was, Prime One Sideshow Queen, nobody's done the snap. Because then you have to get the movie piece. Yeah. Well, sure, but a lot of them are doing movie pieces. I, I think, like with me included. I bought the 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 Mach Three Sideshow uh, Iron Man because I didn't want to pay the XM price for the classic costume. That's or, or that's the only reason I went with that one. Like I, I I'm with Jerry. I don't want movie pieces. Um, so even though this was iconic scene, I I don't want it bigger. I, I don't want it smaller. Good. I didn't ask you. It's not on your PowerPoint. This is my fucking show. <laughs> I think this warrants being. We're going to be a while when we get to mine. <laughs> oh, no. All right. The next one is for Ramon just to paint him. <laughs> I, I could tell. Oh, I want man. this doubled. Wow. And wow. I, I put the picture on the right to show how it is now. I think if they can make a life-size Iron Man and a life-size all these other people, like six, seven feet tall, I think a six or seven foot tree beard would be sweet. That would be epic. So I'm going with the Weta <laughs> tree beard to be doubled. I don't know what it is now. I, I think it's one-tenth. Uh, or, or if it's scaled. One-six, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's scaled, this particular statue. Yeah. All, all of Weta's is one six, but even I mean, the that's tree not would still be huge. So that's not one six. You couldn't. Yeah, he was taller than that. Yeah. Um. So I just want it doubled. There you go. Yeah. This. What is if you just had from the waist down, statue. and you had it going in your room where the waist ended at the uh, ceiling? So he's like possibly in the next room above you, the next floor. <laughs> Would you accept the waste? How much, how much have you drank today? <laughs> uh, not enough. So there you go. There's there's my homework. Nice. I, I didn't know uh tree beard was that big. That's huge. Yeah, it's big. He carried him on his shoulders. Did you not watch oh. them? Uh there, there was hobbits in that scene. He fast forwarded. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's right. He doesn't like the Hobbit scenes. I'm and talking about the statue. Not, I know Treebeard was huge, but I'm saying as far as the statue 
I didn't either. I don't know if that guy's small or what, but I thought for perspective's sake, put it in there. Yeah. Who's next? It's Danny Saz. Wow. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> uh, I can go next uh, if my uh, internet will hold. Maybe you should go last. If not, then I'll go <gasps> next. <laughs> Thanks, man, for the... <laughs> I'll back you up, Bark. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you who you who were also not sure on internet. <laughs> well, <laughs> just had to reset it. <laughs> so this was uh, Diamond Select came out with this. Um, so I think it's like between eight and twelve inches tall. Um, I would happily buy this for quarter scale. Now, because it's this is PVC, right? Yeah, sure. Is it all diamond select PVC? So would you want it in polystone? Like like actual statue? I don't care what it's made of. As long as it looks mm -hmm. like this, I'm happy. Um, but quarter Just wondering scale, if this polystone give the better detail, you think, Jerry? I thought plastic gave the better detail. I think I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't think uh, well, it's I think it's a a dollar amount that they don't they don't put as much effort into the um the uh, the injection molded plastic because it would cost more money too so I, it's not that they can't get it i just don't think that when they're doing mass production that they they go as far as they could mm. yeah but so many jubilee statues that i've seen that are quarter scale or sexualized you know you see the it's like a crop top so you see the belly be still you babbling bird brain no one is interested <laughs> is that a Ramon? <laughs> <laughs> but to me, this this exact version in quarter scale is my. Uh, How can you criticize Kitty Pride and then want a Jubilee statue? Because Kitty Pride constantly cries, and she destroyed the X Mansion, and oh, she's the worst, <laughs> absolute worst. How dare you! How many names has Kitty Pride had? What's that got to do with anything? Sprite. She has better power. Cat. If you have to keep changing your name, you're a lame character. All right. <laughs> Jubilee has been Jubilee. <laughs> Nobody's called her something different. So that that is my. I want her to be uh, quarter scale. All right. So this is the XM uh, Shazam, Captain Marvel. It's I think one sixth mm -hmm. jerry do you have this no i have a quarter scale custom which i really like your custom scale um but this piece i would like to see it in one third i would That's like to nice put this shoot. with my uh my just sleek one third line i i don't care for the light up feature i know it's chest lights up um but if you could just do this version in one third um even if you made the the base smaller but left Captain Marvel in this pose, the portrait. Um, this is where I would like to be in one third. Damn, that's a big yeah, ass Prime nice one teased one and then it never ha and then it never happened. Yeah, which I think LBS is doing one, right? Well, it's on his list. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long yeah. list. <laughs> yep, yep. But uh, this is my uh one third piece. Um so this is a one third blade. Mm. I mm -hmm. would like this to be the diamond select size. Well, we could make it happen in its actual size. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're always trying to sell stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't even know why I get a tax return. I told my wife when I got my tax return, I was like, "All right, first off, I got to buy Jerry's stock hog. I don't know why you don't just let Jerry take your kids on his taxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I should do. And I said, he's also got a lizard statue that I really want. Um, but maybe maybe we can wait because he hasn't talked a whole lot about that piece. Um, but now it's very deeper it. than the Doc Ock is closer to the top. <laughs> the Doc Ock is an easy, easier one. Yeah. So, Ark, you want this in what? Is it six scale? No, smaller. Um, seventh, eighth. Yeah, seventh, oh, wow. eighth, where it's like. Oh, wow, even know, smaller. 12, yeah. uh, I guess because he's higher up, this would probably be between the 12 and 15 inches raise, uh, range. Well, I, don't know if uh, I, could agree I would take it that, that way. way. Not your list. <laughs> the great statue, but yeah. Ramon right. wishes well, he could just get it in one third. 
<laughs> it's too big. I got I don't have that much love for Blade to 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 buy him in one third. I mean, it's a great statue, um, but I've I've read some Blade, um, and it's just I don't know. I mean, I love the movies, uh, but the comic, you know, it's kind of got a lot of uh, cheesy features um, that I, I I don't want the the statue. Or at least I, I would like to have the character, but not pay a ton for him. Mm. Um, so I would like him in uh, the diamond select size and price. I, I'd pay fifty bucks for him. Fifty so. bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah, yeah that's what diamond selects wow. cost. Yeah, that's wow. nice. No, I can't do it for fifty <laughs> bucks. <laughs> no, I'm not going to buy your. Shows how much you care about that character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying a one third statue for fifty bucks. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't uh, buy this for fifty bucks? I mean, I would, yes, but I'm just yeah. saying nobody will I can, sell. I can go buy a fucking much. couple cheeseburgers at McDonald's for fifty bucks. <laughs> but also, I, I mean, even if he was for fifty bucks, I don't know if I want to give up that much real estate for a blade statue. Even as good as but, it looks. So my question is, how does this make your list? Because <laughs> I would like to have this character, but a smaller yeah, What the hell? The list was what statue do you want rescaled? He yeah, picked one rescaled. and wants to rescale. I would buy it in diamond select size, but not one third size. Hey, okay. this is my list. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this is your list, Ramon. All right. <laughs> my internet has not crapped out where you get to take over. <laughs> this is my current list. <laughs> and no, Jerry, I don't want to buy your one third. <laughs> <that too. laughs> Jerry heard I, I filed my tax. Now he's like, what else can I sell him? <laughs> this is near the front. <laughs> so this piece, I I own this piece. This piece, I would buy if it was life size. This wow, is really? life size. Yeah, now says you have room for a life size Batman. I would make room for this. This is my favorite version of Batman. Um the uh, ultimate Batman, the I I'm old, I'm retired, I'm coming out of retirement. I will kill people at this point. Um, but I would love you know, exclude the base. I'm gonna say, do you want the base or no? So no, no, base. no base. That's cool, um, make him where he's on the floor, but I would want this <laughs> life size and I would buy it cool statue. with a long payment plan, of yeah. course. <laughs> wow, but I, I love this piece, and, I, and, and it's funny because, like, the the um Master Race Batman, I think, is the better Batman statue. I think that is the ultimate Batman statue, but this one, life size, I would get all day long. What, what's your favorite comic character, Art? It, it changes <laughs> depending on what I'm what I'm reading. Um, wow, I mean, at times it's storm. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I mean, it, it's, I'm all over the place. That, that's that's a different show. <laughs> and then, lastly, ah, nice. The Iron Studios Bishop. It's one tenth. I would want this quarter scale. Nice. I didn't even all day long. That. I'd buy this. Good and choice, Ark. I like it. I, I think no matter what they did for the price on this, if it was a ridiculous price tag like nine hundred dollars, I would still pre-order that piece. This in quarter scale. Yeah. What about twelve hundred? Cool. <laughs> yeah, as long as there's I got a, a big enough a, uh, payment plan. <laughs> yeah, that's <cool. laughs> so that's uh that's my top five. I did. Uh, Ramon, nice. you're edging to go. I okay. Now he's calm. Yeah, Just, now uh... Ramon's internet's going to go out. <laughs> While Ramon is doing his, I'm going to go make another drink. You, you go make your drink. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. That's my first choice. Uh, so this is old. You'll, you'll see a trend in mine. Uh, this is old piece. I believe it's six scale. So mm -hmm. I'd want to blow this up to quarter scale. This is one of those statues I've always wanted to buy, but I have not bought it only because it's six scale. I mean, I just feel like it's going to be just too out of place. Um, but I, I would love to own it. So this is this is uh, one of the statues I've always. The got Sentinel on. lights up, right? The eyes. The eyes, yeah, they blink. Yeah. So I remember my comic shop had, had had this. 
Yeah, I've always liked this statue. Even the Scuba Steve for uh, for Jerry, I, li- I like it. Yeah, well, it's, a cool it's piece. not the right costume, but it's a better one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another old uh, sideshow dial that they had. This is the Wolf Predator again. Movie sucked, but I thought this Wolf Predator is one of my favorite Predators. The, the look of the Predator, and I thought this was pretty badass when it came out. Dan is my favorite is Predator. Six skill. I was about to say something too, but <laughs> so restraint. Put you out with the bio mask, and he has a unmasked too. So again, I thought if and the cool thing about these are old statues. So like Joe said, if we were to upscale this to quarter scale and all the details get enhanced and everything, I think this would be freaking insane. So what scale is this currently? I think it's this is six scale. Six scale, and you want it quarter scale? Quarter scale, yeah. Both of them quarter scale so far. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, there's another one. This is a fifth scale. Ooh, this is a good one. I would love this in quarter scale. Bigger um, titties. <laughs> <laughs> I assume. Wait, on Conan uh, or on the, the wench? Yeah, which one you want, Art? <laughs> <laughs> of course, so, on Conan. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great statue. Um, I, I mean, I... I have it. I'd buy it right now again. I think this is one of the ones I beat myself up for selling back then. I, I think uh, the female portrait would be better if it was created now. So again, just everything about the statue would be enhanced. So this is definitely one that uh, I would like to add and, and and scale it up because I guess Sideshow only does fifth scale with dioramas. So that one. what scale was the, uh, on. the the one where he's fighting the the bear? The ape? No, the yeah, the gorilla, the ape. Oh, is it? Um, I think I don't know. Conan is pretty small on that. I think that's fifth scale. Maybe even uh, I think fifth scale. Like to me, that that statue, him versus the the white version. Mm-hmm. Um, I have always wanted that piece. Like it's a sweet I, statue. Yeah, I thought still, that was still holds the, up. One of the best sculpts and everything. Like it was the just Troy, such- Troy McDevitt sculpt. Yeah. But it, it didn't have titties like uh, this piece. <laughs> and, and and you could uh you know, fun fact, you could take all the little skirts so you could show a little booty if you're you I thought that guy. Come see my boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but what is she oh. wearing under the skirt? Is it underwear or uh yeah, yeah it just shows like a, a little thong going on. <laughs> okay. Now I have to explain to my daughter oh. what a thong is. Thanks, Ramon. <laughs> have her aunt do it. <laughs> the stripper? Yeah. <laughs> so this is another statue that I don't know why they didn't do it in quarter scale. Um, it's fifth scale. So another statue I've almost bought a few times. If you know, I saw a couple of deals go up, but then I'm just like, where the hell am I gonna put this? It's just gonna look so out of place. So yeah, yeah, it sucks. That's a good one. Pretty, pretty upset. They did not do that in quarter scale. Danny, did you ever try that? and buy this one? I had that at one time. And really? I sold it. Yeah. Wow. You need the EX, though. Yeah, I had the EX, too, and I sold it. I tried getting it back, like, maybe a year ago. Like, I had a chance to get one for, I think it was, like, $300, but there was no box. Oh, wow. And it was going to be shipped from, like, Pennsylvania. Mm. And I just didn't well, trust. Wasn't De- Delaney all hot and heavy for this piece recently? He got it. He got it right. Yeah, was it yeah. this one? I remember he was searching for it for a while. Yeah, he was looking for the EX too, specifically. Yeah, he yeah. bought it. What? What is the EX? It's another head. Yeah, with sure. a, with, head it, it's that head. Curlier hair. No, isn't that the the right one? Oh that's no, no, the EX. Right. No, the EX. No, that's is the classic. The, or that's the burn style the, hair. The regular. That's right. Interesting. All right. So this one is another favorite of mine, but it's it's massive. It's just, what half scale. So yeah, I think for me, scale. I I would I still I mean again I like the presence of it. So I probably would just go down to third, and I would make that work. <laughs> Why not life size? Uh, I can't do life size. Um, that attitude. I have I have the the Doom on Throne in quarter scale, so I think this this would be cool in third scale for me. I think I'd, I'd be uh, able to make that work. So, are you okay having a one third piece like 
for like like a Doctor Doom and being done with it, like not having other yeah. one third characters with it. Yep. What's wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, I'd be cool with that <laughs> for the particular I, character. I, I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've I gotta have at least one companion piece. So I don't follow the rules, so I did a little honorable mention. Uh, I have an honorable here. mention too. So Damn this is. People. Another statue you've always wanted, never bought it because it's uh, this is fifth or sixth scale. I can't remember, but yeah, there's a custom quarter piece. scale that basically revisited this. That was that's that. I mean, it's it's you can find it if you wanted to go get that. Just One sold on eBay. Me. I looked at it today. I don't think I've seen it, but yeah, this is this. Is, I always thought this is a sweet statue, so I, I definitely. Would love to have this, and especially if they scale it up to quarter scale, like I would want it, enhance the details. Because again, this is old sideshow, so you can tell it's a little, you know, I mean, a little outdated in terms of the sculpt and paint. I think it'd be freaking sweet. Uh, I think I'm gonna pursue that piece. You get <laughs> one my, honorable mention. My last honorable mention, Joe. I make my <laughs> rules, all right? Uh, it's that Psylocke comic cat. So I always thought, again, another really good looking piece for its time sculpt wise and everything so i think um i'd love to put this up in quarter scale yeah it's great even the portrait i mean she looks asian yeah i think the portrait looks good <laughs> even in this I think this is know, the mark brooks one right i believe so but yeah those are my choices yeah i mean some of us were stuck to five you know ramon went seven I, yeah, I stayed with the uh, assignment. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and it was funny as Ramon just wanted about a little extra credit. You know what I mean? That's all. Ramon complained about having to do it and then did more than he was supposed to. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry gave me extra credit. See what I did. You guys are all gonna. Move. You guys can. Jerry's gonna have thirty. <laughs> hey, should I go before Jerry then? If you have thirty. Yeah, right. save Jerry for last. <laughs> this is gonna be our first three-hour show. <laughs> no, it won't. I definitely need to make another drink. <laughs> All right, Danny boy. Are they going to be all She-Hulk? <laughs> no, see, I knew. I had a feeling Ramon was going to do that She-Hulk, so I left her out. <laughs> I wish I had gone to the one-fifth sideshow. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> now thinking about it, there's a bunch that I want. Ooh, what are you scaling this to, Danny? This I want scale to one-fourth, just because this is one-fifth originally, because it's considered a dio. But, like, I always love admired this piece because you know like i wouldn't want ewoks on their own with like the fact that they're all yeah taking out yeah they're all taking out a stormtrooper and i love troopers so this would have just been perfect if it was i didn't know this i mean i would thing. yeah, yeah. Cool i piece. would still I've... i would still take one fifth if i could find one at a, at a it, good price it goes for like a grand yeah i want it a little cheaper you know me <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, second Good one would be um I need a green lantern to go with my green arrow, so I would want to upscale this the XM16 to quarter. That's just so the it can best one. Yeah. I mean, I would even take the um the prime one if it's downscaled to quarter, but this one just yeah, just the fact that that uh the construct that just looks too too cool. I always thought that con construct did better with uh, John Stewart. You thought wrong. Apparently, I think so. Either <laughs> or, but um, so I have this statue, but I mean, just the fact that all, I have a bunch of quarter scale Jedi Masters, I just figured I would rather, you know, if I can get this up to quarter scale just to match that line, it'd be even better. So, is this your picture? This. Yeah. Go back one. What what's going on uh, with that back backdrop? What, what's what's happening? Oh, that was the Maju cases before I put them in this room. Okay, like they came with these little like uh, something they covered the plexiglass. Oh, yeah, covering the acrylic. Yeah, the acrylic so it doesn't scratch. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then um, so a custom company came up with this uh, Galaxy Works to one tenth the uh, Han. Uh, Luke Skywalker on Tauntaun. So I would love this in quarter scale. And I've actually contacted them. They, they kind of teased that they might make a run in quarters, but until they do, 
It's it's one I would want in quarter. Yeah. I think they should have Tauntaun hold the gun. Jeez. <laughs> I thought he was. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, he, like had a, I thought he had look. a gun affixed to his uh, horn. Yeah. There. To his horn. <laughs> and then uh, since I was going to do the, the Obi, I mean the, yeah, the Obi-Wan mythos, I, I have never even owned this piece in one fifth. So to have this in quarter scale would be even better. <clears throat> would you consider doing what Mario did and getting the one quarter Vader the hot, hot toy and posing no. it? As much as people <laughs> give shit to the to the I know Jerry's gonna get hate this the, the overspray of the orange but um I, like I actually like I like I like the orange yeah it depicts it depicts the please meat. tell you babbling bird brain no one is interested but we all know it's object source light there you go so I have always liked the orange and you can't get that on the hot toy unless you have someone custom Spray paint, I guess. Eat a bunch or, of Cheetos uh, and unbox it. Yeah. There you go. So <laughs> I, you know, I would love this in one fifth. But then, yeah, the I don't know. It's just the fact that this is the way that everything was like sculpted. You can't get that sculpted detail. Yeah. Like the artistry in it from a hot toy. Man, Daniel T in the chat's talking about the Daredevil versus Punisher dial. Man, that that's that a cool old. piece too. Yeah. So I think that was five, but I had an honorable mention too. Like I would want this forge. Yeah, Y'all giving me shit. Upscale that to only has one. Hey, I didn't give you shit, Ramon. These guys. Did. <laughs> so That's I would cool, want this guy. That's a cool pick too. Man. Would you get forge yeah. if it was in the just in the shorts from like the? <laughs> no, not the shorts of that bionic leg, <laughs> the, the skimpy bionic death. leg. <laughs> yeah. He's gotta have. He's gotta have that beefy bionic leg right there. Muscular bionic leg. So if he's in the the jorts, the shorts and the in the, the uh, tank top. I don't want I don't want his look when he's trying to court storm. Yeah, in the rain. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it for me. Yeah, that'd be a cool piece too. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. And the main event. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll, I'll go through this fast but um what I, I started looking at and it's all bowens so i started looking at bowen catalog and saying you know what what would be great in quarter scale my last slide is the five that i actually picked so i i down sampled from all of these um oh yeah that that one's not a bowen that cyclops uh that I think that's a good one if it were painted correctly. It's not painted. Wait, right. so you're going to show us all the ones you considered and then the final five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go through it quick, though. That's a good vision. All of these in quarter scale, so there's no... I don't have to sit and talk about them very much. Oh, so you had more cool Johnny for. Storm. Oh, yeah. That uh, Mr. Fantastic, where he's all stretched out. I almost bought that the other day. I have it. Oh, wow. But you? In it's quarter in scale. The, the thing I don't like about that is the right angle on the arm. I thought that was just weird what they did. Wait, there. so you I, were those two separate statues, I guess, or pieces? Yeah. Okay. Is that Titania? No, that's Medusa. Medusa. Yeah, Medusa. Oh. I, I thought yeah. XM did a good job with the Medusa. Yeah, I have it, but I would still rather have this. <laughs> <laughs> you have so many statues I didn't know you had. This is the guy on the right. Annihilus. It's a villain. It's a Fantastic Four villain. That's the one I think that XM should have done instead of doing uh, Super Scroll. Norman has a good uh, question. Uh, I would give them an F, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> but I also give them a ration of shit if they give me any kind of criticism like uh, what I tell them is that they should then go and get their PhD and uh, and get a bunch of publications, get themselves hired on and become a professor and then they can give out the F's. <laughs> uh, well, I thought yeah. that was a self-portrait of art. <laughs> it was. I stood for that. For hours. Oh man! Even Who's the girl on the right? Go Jocasta, back. Uh, Jocasta, yeah. She was. Huh. 
kind of like a bride of Ultron, but she turned good. As they do. <laughs> that looks like a bounty hunter. That's a sweet death lock. Uh, the uh, hobgoblin. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, the hobgoblin's yeah. good, wow. but they, they didn't put him on the goblin glider, which I think was dumb. But yeah. D didn't Sideshow do one of those? It was one fifth, right? Somebody did a hobgoblin on a glider. Yeah, they did. They had one. That's a good theory. I think it still yeah. definitely still holds up. Luke yeah. Cage. Well, even the Luke Cage. Like, why why yeah. don't we have a quarter scale Luke Cage? We've seen one the last couple weeks that was really good that Jerry didn't buy. Did I'm talking buy about it. license. Like, why why has no licensed company made him? Especially when the series came out. Yeah. Um, I don't remember how many slides I have on this. <laughs> Sixty-two. I think this might be the last one before the reveal. Uh, there. Oh. So the, those are the five I would take. Wendigo, Bowen's Wendigo in quarter scale, that Deathlock in quarter scale, a Johnny Storm like that one, all quarter, the Simon Garth and uh, Medusa. That Johnny Storm's sweet. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a Bowen? It is. All right, now I'm going to look for that statue. I have one. You gotta, you gotta get the whole set though. <laughs> well, it's so that one goes with this set. It was an extra. It was the, the so the three on the right, that Johnny Storm you replace with with you replace this one the the one that's not flamed on with that, and it, it was uh it was some kind of special buy um, to replace the three pack, but you can get them. He's standalone. He's about five hundred bucks though. Oh wow, uh, which was what was what he was going for last I looked. Ark will yeah. just take one of his regular statues and light it on fire. <laughs> I think that's probably the best uh, Johnny Storm I've seen. It's a good one. Yeah, I love that. That's really cool. Yep. Uh, Medusa, I don't... I mean, are, well, are you so, that drawn to Medusa? Like you've got Well, no, but side. I have like I have some themed uh, couples. Yeah. And so I'll... I think the XM Black Bolt was great, but the I thought the Medusa that they did was lacking, um, and so it would have been all. nice. With yeah, Lockjaw Lock was cool. cool um, I mean, she's okay, but they probably should have gone with a more classic version. They went with like some early two thousands version of uh, Medusa. You didn't watch the show, did you? What show? Jeez, that that had, was a bad uh, show. <laughs> Medusa uh -huh. and Black Bolt. No. No. Uh, was it New Mutants? Yeah, no, uh, it was um, it was Inhumans. Inhumans. Inhumans, yeah, Inhumans. No, I did not watch that. I, I didn't finish it. It was tough to get through. It was Has there been bad. any Deathlock customs, Jerry? Yeah, but they did a mod more modern version, and he's got like these big goofy shoulder pads, and it wasn't Luther Manning. It was a later version of. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a later Deathlock. Um, I almost bought it, but I was like, oh, it just misses so much. You know, it just it was close but not good enough. So I have the Bowen. I have that one that I showed you, but it's a I'd nice Bowen, yeah. I'd love That's to have nice. it in quarter scale. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot uh, we were doing market value. That, that's Excited. why I'm trying to I, I'm throwing this in quick since we're already pretty pretty long. I, I haven't been part of this uh I know market value yet. game. We've yet to uh, I don't know if we call it a game. I think of it more like an activity because we don't like keep track of winners. Yeah, Danny would always be the loser. Danny probably would be. <laughs> I, I follow whatever Jerry says, and I just go a little, a little lower, a little higher. So I started with this one because last week I showed it right before the end, and it was active. Oh yeah, and it was only like a two twenty or something last week, right? Yeah. So what do you think it ended at? Uh, three ten. I'll start. say, what was the start? Did it have a start? A well, dollar. we saw it active, and it was at like two hundred bucks. Oh well, I bet two hundred bucks. <laughs> okay. Jeez, I'm gonna say five ten. Mm, Four fifty. Oh damn! But 
Remember, Jerry pointed out last week that oh, the, the shipping, shipping was on insane. It. Yeah, so I really kind of oh, that is win. dumb shipping. Can't claim oh, much victory. Which, by the way, I'd like to apologize. That She Hulk last week did have a repaired finger. That's why it was so low. Oh, okay. So I made sure I made sure to start looking at like the descriptions on these if they were noticeably low. Ooh. Oh boy. Um 450. I'm gonna say 560. I've been quietly looking at this piece. This piece oh, is great. One just There's, sold, so <laughs> this is the uh exclusive uh portrait. I think I don't know, her lips don't look blue. No, Any this is an exclusive portrait. This is the, the regular portrait. Danny. I would say 400. Mm. 475. San Francisco Katsaka! <laughs> <laughs> and this is what it sold for? 450. Damn. Wow. Dude, that shipping is cheap. 784. It was out of Texas. I don't know why it was 784. Was it that... the EX? It's not the EX. It's not. No. Ramon, I got, the, I got the EX for you. I can sell you one. For you. you can't oh, even ship a comic book for seven eighty four. <laughs> yeah. So. Man, that's crazy low. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. This is a great piece. It's I old, like the, but great. The portrait. Some of these are timeless, and their prices yeah. indicate I'm gonna that. I'm going to say four twenty five. Ooh. I'm gonna say, I, I I don't know what what way Joe's going for. If he looks for all the ones that have sold super cheap, um, that's I'm what gonna, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, it goes both I, ways. I try and get I, a little of both. I'm gonna say six twenty five. Is this is this like is there a, like an exclusive version of this? Is this that? It had a hat, right? Uh, yeah, the exclusive did. Had it. Well, it wasn't listed as an exclusive. I try to make note of that if they are. Five sixty. Mm. Four seventy-five. I think the OG price was what three three hundred three fifty. About five hundred. I said four twenty-five, uh, Ramon. What are you shaking your fist? After I shipping, I said four seventy-five. I was closer. <laughs> Not with shipping. <laughs> No, shipping doesn't count. But this one, I mean, yeah, it does count. 50, no, it doesn't, bitches. Yeah, but you're still talking I mean, about hammer price, not shipping. Fifty bids. This is, I mean, the market's still there on this one. I would have thought it sold for way more. I mean, this is a a great piece. Yeah, but the fact that it's not two hundred. Look at some of those old Batman's like you have. That thing's like two hundred dollars. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm just saying, this is, <laughs> this, is one of the, this is one of the ones that's timeless that still holds its value more than retail. Don't worry, you'll thank me later. I, I got one that's going to really turn the knife in you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, so I put this one up, Jerry. You said you watched the other one end. It yeah. was back up. Same yeah. seller. $650. Hammer time! <laughs> <laughs> I think we can probably skip that. Clearly, Jerry watched it again. <laughs> did your I was going to say 700. Did your friend uh, win it this time? I don't know. I forgot to ask. I just thought it was I was going to say 825, and that's including shipping. Well, the last one ended at 8. San Francisco cocksucker. <laughs> I, Whoa. Um, Jerry, Jerry had been watching it on the last time, so two weeks ago. And it's already back up for auction, so I don't know if the first person bailed or what. Yeah, I watched it the second time too, and uh, and, and but I forgot to bid. But then I went back and looked, and I saw the price. Don't you have this? Yeah, but I was watching it for a friend. He wants to paint it back to regular. <laughs> no, it's got no. boots. He didn't no, want this. I don't. I don't want to paint this one back to regular. <laughs> but I do have the right I do have the regular one painted like this that I might paint back to regular. I just oh, thought it was wow. interesting how I saw it sell again. This one was oh, for Danny. Nice. And it's Wait, the what EX. Is this? PCS oh. inside show. Is this quarter scale? Yep. I never even knew of this one. 
I, uh, I even had to look at the picture closely because the, the person listing it had it as PCS Sideshow. And yeah, down there in the corner it says PCS Sideshow. Damn, this looks pretty nice. I'm going to guess this went for $375. Oh, I was going to say $350. I'm well, say... You can say that. <laughs> Are you going $350? Or... I'm going $350. I'm going to say know. $325. Ouch. <laughs> 550. Ramon probably owns it. <laughs> we all what went over. <laughs> well, I was the lowest and I went over, so oh, we're all over. Now now Jerry wants shipping included. No, no, no. We <laughs> could do that. No, this isn't the price. This isn't the price is right. You get the closest oh. price. Oh, price then that would right. be me then. 325. Yes. You got it, Danny. But 27 bids. Damn, you should have bought that one, Danny. I yeah. know. I, I never even knew this one existed. So, so I put this one in. Play the clip. Come to see my boobies. I'll just say, based on their fridge, they could not afford this statue. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what if it's a viewer? I don't care. <laughs> what if they they obviously love Star Wars? Maybe yeah, they got the Tie Fighter up there. Star Wars. Yeah, well, still. Jerry, do you know what this uh, PO cost? Uh, I could guess it was it's it's over nine hundred and it was probably around eleven hundred. I would guess. Okay, so we'll say eleven hundred, the and then and then plus shipping. Yeah. Okay, so keep that in mind. Eleven hundred plus shipping. All right, I think it sold for five hundred dollars. Seven twenty-five. Wait, wait, what would what would you say about the shipping? He, I just wanted to know what the the original PO was plus. Yeah, it was a, he it said, was custom shipping. So you're. There's no way this guy got out for less than two fifty. Okay, so the guy probably has thirteen fifty in it. Something like that, I would guess. I'm thinking this is a the female. There's a lot of horny guys out there. I'm gonna say eleven hundred. Guys that's like boobs. That's, that that's, <laughs> that's what Danny would pay. That's what Danny would pay. Uh, I go eight seventy five. Eight seventy five. Oh wow! I think I guess Ramon was one. watching it, <laughs> <laughs> but I put this up there specifically. Like sometimes waiting on the customs, they're gonna pop up in the buy sell trades. They're not all home runs. Maybe don't po. But even for that price, I couldn't imagine adding that to my collection. Like it's not gonna fit in anywhere. I'm not saying it would, but just. The fact that this guy yeah, probably had thirteen fifty. Explaining in invisible it. boobies to your daughter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is my jerk station. <laughs> oh, you can just wow. think they forgot to paint this part. <laughs> they ran out of paint. It's a, it's a good statue. I like it. Yeah, I like no, it too. Her butt is way too big. They made Bunch they made perverts. the butt gigantic. Oh, you. Stop. But I'm just I'm just not sure with. They did. They enlarged the butt after they the original the original sculpt. They went back and they, they enlarged it. It looks like they stuck a needle in it and, and, and <laughs> hooked it up to an air compressor. Stuck I just a needle don't in know it's name of Danny's sex tape. How <laughs> strong the custom the custom aftermarket's been hit like regular aftermarket. It's been hit pretty hard. Yeah. Oh, oh here, here's the here's the here's the knife into Ark's heart, right? No, this is this isn't it. Oh, I'm gonna guess this one went for three fifty. I'm saying six hundred. I'm gonna say five twenty-five. I'm gonna go four twenty-five. Oh, wow. son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I I paid way more than that for my. I even checked Jeez. to make sure there wasn't damage or anything like that, but. That's what it ended no, it's, for. It's just Deadpool. That's why. Oh, golly. Even if I <laughs> wanted to give mine away, I, I couldn't do it for that price. <laughs> That's crazy. I had never seen this before. So You've never seen the statue before? I've never seen the statue before. Oh. You haven't been around long enough. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to guess. Yeah. Uh, seven hundred. I'm gonna say two twenty nine. 
I'm gonna say nine sixty four. Wow. <laughs> I think this is one of the ones that goes crazy for some reason. Yeah. I'm going to go 1,500. Wow. wow 15. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 900. This, this statue did go for, for crazy for a, yeah. for a little while in time. Yeah. It was in that 1,500 I range. thought 700 was crazy. but I say shame yeah. on the person for not making an offer, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. they might have been, it might not have been accepted. Then don't put or best offer. Well, sometimes it autom it defaults to that. So I always uh, keep typing when you... until it accepts my low bottom. Like I always find out what the lowest offer they'll accept. This is the one that's going to hurt Ark. Oh god! Oh, oh wow! I, I stopped so, looking for this piece um, because you, know, you might so have stopped expensive. a minute too soon. <laughs> I heard about what Ohami and Bar bought their electro from, or or for. Yeah, oh, and I was like, that right well, there was a stab. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess six fifty on this. Damn. No way. I'm gonna say seven fifty. I'm gonna say. To me, again, this is. What I did think you say? Best six fifty. I think this is the best uh, Spider-Man character they did. I'm gonna say. Seven seven hundred. Cock sucker. <laughs> Ramon, quit eBaying it. eBaying it. Hey, so you you another screen? <laughs> I don't want this damn statue. I don't know. No, but you're getting the price. What's your guess? Twelve hundred. Now this is sold. Wow. Oh, wow. That's not a stab in the back. That's what I expected. Well, it's a stab in the back the because you, the price they got it for that you could have got it for. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I thought it was going to be super low the way you're making it sound kind of. Damn. Yeah. That, that's that's what I expected. I better, I better take a look at what that Doc Ock is going for. <laughs> I thought about looking that You up. already <laughs> sold it, Jerry. <laughs> I did. You I already know. sold it. <laughs> I told you you could, you could sell it to a, a person that wanted it. You said no. <laughs> so, Franco, I see you in the chat. Start doing X-Men villains or Spider-Man villains. They're selling well. It says what's crazy. I think Franco would do really well. Uh, with Spider-Man villains because they are more monstery than uh, X-Men or Wolverine as he keeps doing over and over again. Actually, good, good. Uh, hop, he would do a, a he good gets hop, a lot hop. of practice with Wolverine. I'm going to say 1525 for this. Mm. This is the last one. Oh man, I'll say 1800. Doesn't this one have like a spear swap out? Yes. I'm gonna say twenty one hundred. I'm gonna say twenty five. Wow, thirty five bids. Wow, yeah, the one's pretty good at this. So this, this one went for lot. this one went for two k like two or three years ago at uh, Extremes uh, Memorial Day sale, and so I thought the market was even going to be softer. But that's that's pretty strong right there. There was somebody that had an eBay listing for a statue that they got from Mister X. Oh yeah, it was a uh, it was a surfer. Oh yeah, I I'm curious if people when they do their post for sale, if like so Monday is the last day to file taxes. If okay, so they assume everybody at this point has filed their taxes. If they're going to jack up their prices stupid high to see if they get any takers. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there are. There's people trolling out there right now. Well, heck, we if I up. had any ambition, I'd, I'd have a bunch of statues on eBay right now. <laughs> Jerry's it? posting Doc Ock right now. <laughs> <laughs> we looked up that uh, that Lord of the Rings Weta piece, that tree, what, last week on the after show. The only one available is $17,000. Golly. Jeez. Who's paying that? Ramon, like even if you had, <laughs> like even if you were a millionaire, would over you the next pay? ten years, maybe. <laughs> uh, this looks cool. Yeah, we have um, Caleb, uh, Spidey versus Doc Ock. Was Doc Ock fat in the comics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's chunky. Okay. 
but he looked more like that. Yeah, he had this stupid haircut. Hair, the, the mo haircut. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. If, if this was Diamond Select, I would buy it. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> fifty bucks. God. I, I'd well, pay twenty uh, bucks for this. It would be seventy-five for two characters. Yeah, <laughs> I would do it. They should do Dios. <laughs> they should. They really should. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I bought that. Uh, I bought that Wolverine uh, Juggernaut Dio uh, in one tenth. The Iron Studios. Yeah. Nice. I'm waiting Jeez. for it to come in. And there's another uh, Ooh. Vampirella. Wow. No shortage of these coming out. Yeah. Junk in the <laughs> trunk. What's going on with that uh, left, the left one? Right, the left butt cheek is way bigger <laughs> than the right one. That one must have got bitten by the, the angle, Jerry. I think he got um, bit by no uh, angle. The that one's further away from us. <laughs> <laughs> I like the portrait. The portrait looks great. Wait, is Franco? Is this a render robot. or is this a real thing? <laughs> I think this is <laughs> the render. So there's still time to is, come on. Look at that. That is no, I mean, I'm not, Danny's I'm not looking for more views. <laughs> Keep showing the the backside. Hey, the sculpt of her face is really nice, though. Yeah, this, I agree. Yeah, I think everything well but that kind of left butt cheek looks pretty damn good. If they made the hips smaller, well, maybe um, the rib cage. I don't know about the angle. I would say this is dynamite. That's yeah. a nice portrait. That yeah. portrait looks great. And the hair. Very nice. Very, very nice. I still kick myself I didn't get the uh, the one Ramon got. Prime ones? Yeah. Here it's such a cool a... piece. Jerry, too. That's Jerry right. got it. I got it coming. Oh, damn it. How am I going to buy Jerry's <laughs> next tax return? <laughs> 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 Who we have this? like a British, it's a Betsy Braddock Psylocke, okay. but I guess it's a British version or Captain Britain version. I would never buy that. It reminds me of the lady from Hunger Games. But yeah. I, think looks, <laughs> I mean, it's well, I think it, it looks, looks well Jerry's done. Jerry's Googling, what is Hunger Games? <laughs> I actually watched that. <laughs> Did you? Yep. Jerry tried to get it implemented at school. Do you like it? Uh, not really. I, I it was it was an interesting concept, but um, it was pretty rough execution. Uh, I, I was wondering what they thought the fuss was all about because it it, it was not done very well. That, the acting, the acting was horrible. The movies got better. Eh, what is this? It's like That's a, a Michael Turner. It's a Michael Turner style mm -hmm. Supergirl. It looks no like. me gusta. I think it's still in the early that phases, one. possibly. Oh, so that, that looks rough. <laughs> wow, she's way too skinny. I mean, Except that's for how, the pants. Did that's Jerry how just say that? <laughs> wow. What, what do y'all think about the... Uh, um, uh, what is it? The uh, dragon, throne of dragons, or whatever. Oh, that's cool. her being the new Supergirl. Oh, the games of Amelia Clark. No, not her. Um, from the new series. Oh, the I main uh, main chick, House of Dragons. House of no, Dragons. No. That's right. Didn't watch it. Oh well, the the, the main girl. She's the she's cast as the new Supergirl. I thought that CW Supergirl, that girl was a was a good casting. Yeah, I really liked her. Until like all CW shows, they 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 start off nice, but then after like maybe two or three seasons, then it starts kind of getting bad. Yeah, once they did the uh, musical number. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but I like it's his Booster pizzazz. Gold. <laughs> this is Booster Gold, one of the greatest characters ever designed. By it. <laughs> well, his, his pizzazz is there. <laughs> Uh, he's a pretty ridiculous character, except that in um, Flashpoint, his part, his stories in Flashpoint were, were some of the best stories in Flashpoint. One that square. I agree. I hated Booster Gold until I read him in uh, Flashpoint, and then I was like, "Oh, that's pretty no. good." 
you guys have to read him. If you read him in the, the original, the, the Justice League International, him and they, they had him and Blue Beetle. They were like the best tag team, like super entertaining. There's a, a Ji Hung, another, like they seem to do statues based off Ji Hung Lee's covers. So here's another one of Spider yeah. Gwen and is that Silk? I, yeah, I'm Silk. Yeah. Sure Silk. The these look good. But I mean, yeah. I wouldn't want these in quarter scale. That'd be too big. Yeah, you you have to really love that cover by these. Yeah. But if they were like one fifth or even maybe a little bit smaller, these would be. I still wish I got that. No, X yeah, I agree, Jerry. You still wish you got what? That X twenty three you got. That's a good one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably. So here we out. have a uh, Umbaku, which you just never. I don't think I've ever seen a custom like any. Any other than Bo Bowen had Mbaku, right? That's the guy from the movie. I think he <laughs> had a bust. I think there was a bust, right? It was like, cool. would this would this interest you, Jerry, since you love the, the furry furry white beast? animals? I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued. <laughs> That's disturbing. Jerry loves the furry, the furry white beast. <laughs> <laughs> I knew but, it. I don't know. This looks pretty damn cool to me. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks cool. Do you think it zips in the back? Definitely don't see Mbaku. But he's got to go pee. He has to get that completely much. naked. No, there's something under the loincloth there. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. You have a lot of pictures of this. Danny does that. <laughs> I know sometimes I mean there was a lot more dude there was a magneto I just was like blindly saving and I just realized there's 69 pictures of these you had to go I 69 to huh so uh here's that new Batman a lot of people are don't seem to to care for the portrait or the whole piece in general so I love all this except for the portrait the portrait's kind of throwing me off uh um, yeah I bet once I see the unboxing, I'll kind of warm up to the portrait. But the rest of them, I really enjoy it. I like it. I love the blue. I, I, I feel the same way. I think it's only the portrait that's kind of like a hiccup. But I think the different angles looks better. I mean, it's starting yeah. to look better. I think it was just that straight on shot that kind of looked pretty bad. Like that doesn't look that bad right there. Right. This is a completely different pose than we're used to for Batman. Um, I mean, yeah, he's jacked. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I like it. I, I enjoy it. It's something different. It's just that portrait. It's not the long ears. It's that chin. It's it's very feminine. <laughs> right? Hey. Yeah. No, I, I kind of see that, too. I, I think I would prefer like a, a five o'clock shadow. Um, I still think the one on the, the tombstones is the best. You're talking about the one with the chaps? I am talking about the one with the chaps. That's the fucking worst one. What I'm <laughs> I'm take I'm taking that over the one and the and the 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 costume yours has. The soft goods whole suit. <laughs> At least he's not wearing chaps. <laughs> Joe, we have you another... should get the new 52. That would be a nice standalone Batman. <laughs> I would, but only if it was not repaired. If it was a solid piece. <laughs> it's pre it's pre broken for your convenience. <laughs> yeah. This is a cool one, Danny. Yeah, we haven't seen the poison ivy in a little bit, so only she was a flash time. Better... at least one show. <laughs> this yeah. would be yeah. a better uh um Abby conversion. This would have been a good one. It would have been a good Abby conversion. Jerry, you should do it. Except it's Well, the it's bat got the bat signal. signal. <laughs> make it a trash can. Yeah, make it a trash. It could <laughs> make it a make it an, a 55 gallon drum or something. Yeah, there you go. And another storm. This one's on the the GSX outfit. She better not that's, have a mohawk. That's a that's interesting. It's a good costume. Yeah, it's kind of cool. The yeah. best costume. It is the best costume. Oh, oh damn it! Arch version. 
Art spoke too soon. So nice. I'll, I, sadly, I'll say this because of X Men '97, I like it's growing on you. Mohawk. I, I like the storm on X Men '97. I like wow. what they're going through. Where it's not complete Mohawk, but it's it's like a groan. Where at one point there was a Mohawk. What's up, Barb? I can't type, so. Danny's pretty much saying fuck you to everybody else that's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I if I see any new people, I'll I'll shout them out. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, I just noticed something. Okay, notice right here you don't see any under boobage. But then if you go back, you see a little bit of under boobage. Oh that's my god, boobage. got that's so just... excited, Danny. <laughs> 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 it's just the shadows. Yeah, it's just yeah, the maybe light, light effect. But um, I, I don't care yeah, much it just for the like uh, the powers. A lot of storms. Even just the shadow does it for him, Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap thrill, man. Cheap thrill. <laughs> What's up, Noshi? See, everybody. when Danny goes to Texas, he puts on a strobe light. <laughs> What's up, that kid? <laughs> then we have another uh, Magneto. This one, there was like tons of pictures, so I just grabbed like maybe five or ten. Like 20. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you have the cross arms. I like the base. So, so the, uh, again, back to the X-Men 97, the more I watch that show, yo, the frenzy. more I've seen like a fan made, um, the guy that played uh, Superman in Man of Steel, um, him be Magneto. And it, I, I believe it. Like I'm like that would look awesome, especially because of uh, the the game movie that he was in. Um, oh, I can't think of it. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> and he's just havoc for Jerry. No, Jerry doesn't like this havoc, right? No, sir. I think this is well <laughs> done, but. I would, I think I would prefer the original costume too. If I had to get one Havoc, I like this one, this costume better. I still like this costume, but I want the OG. The, the OG well done, is though. too much like Bullseye. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I like, I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Here's another. She I like the She Hulk. If they Another. if someone makes this whose art is this? You, this was based on a comic book cover. Who is this? I, I'm pretty sure it was based off of not a cover, but a maybe a pinup drawing or or one of those uh it was done it was based off art, I know that. Was it was it uh life alert? <laughs> no. Life alert He's, it took me a second to figure <laughs> out life alert. That's like no. a movie. <laughs> A flashback. <laughs> no, it wasn't her. Ariel. How dare you, Ariel Diaz? Wait, so who's making this? Like, you guys um, know the group? we don't know. Whoever Marmo Tool Bag. Tool bag? <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. But I don't know. I, I like the stylized look. I, I don't like, like the glasses. Yeah, I could do I, without the glasses. I, too. I like the glasses because it kind of gives her attitude and character. Which I feel like a lot of She Hulks are missing is that yeah. attitude, that yeah, sassy attitude. That. So yeah. that's the one thing I dig about this statue is you get it evokes, you know, She Hulk's personality. Jerry, are you okay with this? That she's got pants, but what the fuck is I'm this? Not <laughs> this is the grenade for <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> wow. Oh, it was like a Sailor Moon with a moon face. You guys know the rotten apples. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got to is... always throw in one grenade in our shows. That's oh, definitely a grenade. Oh, this came out for um it was McFarland's like Carlin's doing this, yeah. Yeah, like a one tenth. It was it was like a what's it called? Uh a, a fun uh, what are those things called? Uh where they built the money up. Oh, fuck oh. crowdfunded. 
crowdfunded. Yeah, this was crowdfunded, and it pa- like it passed like within like twenty minutes or thirty minutes. I felt like oh, I yeah. read. Like I would have thought yeah, this would have been a McFarlane piece, like easy money. When is McFarlane just going to make a big spawn? I'm surprised he has it already. Yeah, me too. Just make a one third. Yeah. Oh, this is a McFarlane. But well, their stuff is so expensive for the size. Yeah. It's over. What was what was the retail on this? Do you remember, Danny? I do not. Ramon, quick, look it up. I, I bet it's six, seven hundred dollars. I think that was about the t- Sailor Moon. <laughs> I mean, it looks great though, um, but they're they're just everything McFarland does as far as statues concerned. It's it's way overpriced. Sterling says it's five hundred. Well, yeah, it looks exact. That's that's right. That's the cover right there. Yeah, I don't think you can say overpriced at five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. If, oh, if they're if they're one tenth, I mean, that's what Iron Studios is going to charge you for two. Back kids in on it. I, I would pay five hundred dollars for that, uh, but I, I assumed it was more than that. Matt kid, you need a, a signed slab to go with it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I'm not a Venom guy, but for some reason, I like this Venom. What's happening with his hands? I don't know, but they're awfully, know, but his like, arms are like, awfully long. Maybe I like it because it looks so simian, simian like you know, like it's like an ape or. You like that tongue and what you can yeah. do with it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and I like that it's not overly, you know, like bulky like like he normally is portrayed. I mean, look at his traps <laughs> compared <laughs> to his head. <laughs> I don't know. I like this piece for some reason. It's I mean, look at the, me. the rock looks really bad. If someone <laughs> gave this to me for my birthday, I'll take it. <laughs> and we have a uh, I don't know. Is this like a Ghost Rider Wolverine? Terminator 2. Uh... <laughs> Where the hell did you find this? Dude? <laughs> I don't know. I put a, This is like a semi-grenade. He's shooting fire out of his... Uh, or his blades on fire. His blades are on fire, I think. Yeah. You he that or he's Bruce. shooting out flames. Help it me looks Bruce. like it's a flamethrower. Help me, Oprah. <laughs> Sterling says Elverine. Give me... Then we have this um Ooh, it's like, like a one third black like hat which a lot. Well, this was originally a custom in quarter scale, but I think they're gonna one redo third. it in one third. Now. Oh, okay. Oh, and then it's just like a comparison. Mary Jane a midget. Jerry's getting this. That's why it's like no, Ramon's not. mystique next to other mistakes. <laughs> I wonder if a peach 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 size. Oh, you're hating ass. <laughs> Looks like one of her butt cheeks is bigger than the other thing. <laughs> I thought that too. Maybe it's maybe it's a thing. That's the anatomy, Jerry. What did mm. Franco call them? The BBLs? <laughs> BBLs? What's that? <laughs> I don't want to know what it stands for. <laughs> Uh, we're not anti-Brazilian, by the way. <laughs> Jeez, how many pictures do I have of this? Uh, it looks you, great, though. I, mean, I, I would like yeah, uh, a little bit more sewn-up uh, top. Of course you um, would. Maybe if you, they will do that. They did that for that Black Widow. Yeah, after you oh. spoke so poorly of it. <laughs> Here's um, Franco um, remembers. <laughs> what is it? Last week. This is Kildrey, she's from Cyberforce. So this was Mark Silvestri's image oh, book that he did man. after he left Marvel. Mm-hmm. That'd make a great Abby. <laughs> I don't know. That might be a tough conversion there. But look at that, the, the detail. The, on the spine. The, the spine, yeah, it looks cool. Up. Some uh, she lost her pants. Well, I mean, she just didn't want to be restricted by pants. Yeah, yeah. There's so many times I'm working on fitness equipment where I'm like, damn, if only I was not wearing pants, I could do this better. A little bit of underboob. Don't get that excited. (laughs) (laughs) 
but I think but we saw this... get it because the nips are not uh, poking through. <laughs> I think we saw like a gray version before. Yeah, was... yeah, we've seen this before. Ooh. I I thought this was like cool dial. I like it. But this, so her tires does that mean X Men are making or manufacturing <laughs> tires? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't know. you don't think the Batmobile well, doesn't say Batman on the tires? <laughs> you think they say Goodyear? What does it say on the XM one? The, the, the Batman XM cycle, the White Knight one. Yeah, I, I just know how much more money you're gonna have to pay because there's a bike. Yeah, but uh, that's a pretty cool bike. They did pretty good on it. Yeah. Oh. Then you get all the little the other versions of Psylocke. I like the the mast portrait. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure what the mast is from. I don't think I've ever read that version. COVID, Danny. COVID. <laughs> really? Oh, oh that's, that's true. Jeez. I probably couldn't say that. My apologies. What the <laughs> hell is this? So this is the Wampa from um Phil Tippett from Regal yeah, Robot. Phil Tippett, uh, Regal Robot. Yeah, Dan, Dynamic Dan. It's got a hole his, in the back. His picture. I mean, his his that came in. Where you get wow, that's this stuff. is already shipping. Yeah. Wait, you're getting uh, that, Jerry? No. I thought Jerry was going to. No, but... it's like it's like over 3K. Oh my god, who would really? Yeah. But this, goes, and it has... this goes back to the lineage thing. Uh, I know yeah. we've discussed this that is... before. That's how exactly it looks like when they were filming. But oh, people awful. are people are paying for the lineage on this one. And the, the signature. And the sketch. And then my one of my favorite Star Wars Ooh. customs is teasing the Falcon. It looks like it is ankle, Danny. A, it's ang it looks 45 degrees, almost 45. And like when it comes to Star Wars, up. I think it goes Wait, back to our game. Like how if you upscale it, you want it to look better. I think Star Wars is so old now. I would prefer them to take liberties to make it look. I I agree. Modernized. Like, didn't we talk about that last it, week? I was here last week. You damn it! Because <laughs> yeah, this looks really so, bad. Because Dan remember. did a, he did that wampa back behind me, and he took you know it's a little bit more stylized, which I prefer. When's this going up, Danny? It's supposed to be next month, so I might be adding this Falcon to the. How much? Like, what's your guess on the price for this? I, this will probably be twelve hundred. Twelve. How big? No is more it? than fifteen. I don't know. It's got to be at least twenty-two to twenty-five inches. I thought it was more going to be if they did it right. I thought it was supposed to be like thirty-four long and like twenty-eight wide. Yeah, I, mm. I don't know the the specifics off the top of my head, but it's going to be. That's but, the thing is, if it's gonna be flat like the the master replicas, that's, that's what I was hoping harder for. for me. Yeah, that I don't want that because it's gonna be harder to display. But if it's tilted like this, or even as as much of a tilt as possible, forty five degrees, it'll be a little bit more display friendly for for myself at least. I was also hoping that it won't happen now, but for like I don't know three hundred more or five hundred more, they'd give an option for an acrylic case. Yeah, because coming up with custom cases for these things is not feasible. Yeah. Like to me, I'm I'm waiting for Hasbro <laughs> to to make this. Well, they've I made. Mean, I don't know. Well, they've made they vintage make... collection ones. I think the Smugglers Run vintage collection is the most expensive one. It's like five hundred dollars. Yeah, but have they made a new one? Like like you know how they've been doing the like that like Ark has that Slave One. The the um, smugglers run one is the newest one. Oh, okay. And it retailed for like four fifty. Now it sells aftermarket for like five fifty. But it comes. It's from the solo movie. But you can make it so it looks traditional Falcon. So I Ooh. saw this on uh, Thor posted this on DCX. Since we were on the ships, I love. I don't. Know, I love seeing the model ships. Yeah. I do so too. and I've always loved. The drop ship from aliens. So this is cool. cool to see this one. And this is supposed to be 
Jeez, I forgot what the size was. Man, I keep looking up uh, uh, to get a a, a, a jet of uh, the Blackbird from uh, X Men. Yeah, SR seventy one. Yeah. You want keep... a real? You want the real plane, or or you want uh, the X Men version of it? I mean, I want the X Men version of it, but you can't get that one. So I keep looking up the uh, the model scales. Um, that's I think like one seventy second or something like that yeah. scale. Yep. Yeah. Um, but I keep looking at it, thinking about buying it um, and trying to mod it to look like the X Men one. Yeah, that, that's cool. Yeah, this is cool. I need it's a scratch just... built. Really. Like they built it completely off of, uh, out of pre existing models, I believe. There was a co there's a company that makes the model for that. Because they do that and they do the big ship. Well, and then we go on to this. So uh PCS <laughs> just showed one of the newer um Jerry's favorite that character, Cammy. They're uh I guess they're my favorite character. Line. Yeah. Why would you say that? Because you always like Cammy's yeah, uh, outfit, remember? The onesie? The onesie? <laughs> this is not a onesie. This is a two-piece. Well, this is different. Yeah, I mean, they're taking liberties here. Oh, the original costume. Okay, I get you. Yeah, the original the character. Come on. So it looks like they're gonna go. No Street Fighter fans here, cheese. They did so all they, these, no, I know. I they know think they're gonna about. sell three different versions of this. They did all these versions and didn't do the original. I know, right? Well, I think they're they're all supposed to be in out like workout outfits. I guess you're not supposed. To, they're not in the 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 original. Street they did Fighter a Chun Li, outfit. right? Also of the same. I, exact I'll place. be honest. The more I saw that at first, I hated that. I was like, who's gonna buy this? Then the more I started <laughs> seeing them in the groups, I kind of wanted to be honest. If it was one tenth, I would have bought it. But since it's quarter scale, no, nah, I'm not gonna give quarter scale you know like i'm not gonna give that much to a quarter scale piece but if it was one tenth i would have i would have jumped on the chum, the chun lee one. Oh, and then there's another uh Hellboy. Hellboy. i think this one looks pretty cool i like the the Yo. the stylized look the oversized i wish his head was a little bit bigger yeah the head looks really small but man the the effect behind i don't mind it, it. Yeah, the, cool. I guess it's a ghost. I have no idea who the character is. That is really cool right there. Yes. I like that a lot. But I wonder if how it's gonna translate. Like that's how I do my chest you know. hair. Yeah, that seems accurate. <laughs> yeah, that looks cool. That's yeah. how Jerry does his head hair. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool piece. I like I said that uh that ghost I effect or whatever is on its shoulders, that is I that's something I haven't boy. seen. That's really cool. Does anybody have a Hellboy in their collection? No. No. Uh, I used to have a sideshow one, but I'm gonna hold out help uh, hope for a certain sculptor in this chat i thought franco's done one maybe i'll get a bust one day <laughs> and they tease another captain america ah the portrait i'm not digging yeah the rest of it looks cool the portrait i, I think he looks he needs to look older but yeah the the base and everything i like another mini tank yeah, yeah. He, no, if you go back, like nobody's fitting through that. If he's life size, nobody's fitting through yeah. the top of that. Right. <laughs> oh, you can't see his face. Yeah. Oh, do we have uh -oh. some? Um, Those look cool. Some, yeah. There's a uh, Mark Newman. Was showing some of these off on his site or his uh, page. I figure uh, Jerry might get a kick out of these. Yeah, I saw, I saw when he posted them. 
I just don't like the bus. I kind of like the what is it like a tombstone behind it or or a uh, just an arched window? Yeah, well, he had it on another um, like a Nosferatu type character, which I have pictures of too. So it seems like it's going for a line. Characters like this, I think, do better as a bust. Yeah, I just don't need another a new distraction. Oh, this is the uh, that. Oh, yeah, the Nosferatu. Oh yeah, Nosferatu. This looks. Sculpt. This looks damn good. Yeah. Yeah, that whole. I mean, those three together would be really cool. I wonder how far that they're uh, down the rabbit hole they're going to do. Dude, they do a Wolfman. Would you be in, Jerry? Oh man. You had him at Wolfman. I think he's going to print these though, so it's you can probably get them like his other stuff. You can get it at any time. Here we have Jose's Dazzler. This, this Dazzler looks like shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, wow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Jose. <laughs> I mean, I'm this kidding. is this is the costume I prefer too. Yeah, I would never get this costume. Yeah, this costume's not for me. But I'm also I'm. I mean, uh, the sculpt looks good on it. Like she looks great. Yeah. Um, but it's just, yeah, I, I prefer the other, the the white costume. Where's Professor um, X? I don't know. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> and, and I don't like the uh, X bases. I don't yeah, mind. Yeah, I I'm not a fan. I want some sort of base on my statues. So. Yeah. yeah, but they fit in with all his collection. Exactly. Yeah, every, yeah, everything, it works. It works. Everything he's done has the X base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Jose, I I like this statue. Uh, I think it's a great looking statue. I just I prefer uh, the white costume and different base. This is the outfit I would get if I was in the market for desert, but unfortunately, I am not. This is way better than your banshee. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting an envelope in the mail. <laughs> that looks good. Then um, I put this one in for uh, Ramon. So they did a little tease. For me? Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, never mind. They're going to go into... That, that didn't look like sideshow. Man- that shadow looks like man. I had, I had pictures. I, there's more pictures later. I, I There's the other pictures. So first, we'll go, we'll jump into this. Uh, Are you like Jerry Mary and don't Jane. organize your stuff? <laughs> I forgot to delete that one photo. <laughs> this is going to be a three-hour show. But there's going to be a black variant too, a black costume variant. Oh, should be black right costume, that black version. Jesus. <laughs> black outfit. <laughs> there it is. It's more of like a like a retro, I guess, look. I just don't like any of this. Or vintage look, I guess. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> how more can you be like, I know who Spider-Man is. <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go so everyone's questioning is this like more uh back to the court of the court of the dead no is that, it's a monster is that, good, is that gethsemane is i think so oh it's someone else that kind of looks like gethsemane but i don't know the queen uh court of the dead would you be interested in this ramon uh I mean, I like the Court of the Dead stuff. This is their. This is a new, whole new thing they're starting. I think. I think they just teased it. I think so, Thor said it was monster based. Let's see what it looks like. No, if anything, it's Gethsemane. Is the court is from the Court of the Dead? It kind of looks like that. Her. Are you going to put the statues in front of the pictures that you're hanging? Mm-hmm. I, I have no idea where I'm going to put them yet. Oh, Jesse's saying it is a separate horror line. I don't want to fall into a different line. I I went pretty deep in with Court of the Dead, and I don't regret it. I I really enjoy the statues, but I don't know if I could do a whole other line like that. Carl posted two videos on um, Jeff's group, uh, Secret Sanctuary. So I just grabbed some screen captures of the LBS Aquaman and Oh, prototype? Yeah. I like this a lot. As long as I can have a swap out for the the poking uh, stick. 
The uh, trident. Yeah. The for, trident. Yeah. No, I like the it trident. Is. The other one. Uh, I want when you have a hand. short hair sculpt. There, there you go. I still. They also have arm, arm switch offs, arm switch outs too. I like the long hair portrait. No. I, like I want the long hair and a beard. No. That's what I'm going for. Then they have the Green Lantern with the Tomar. Is that Tomar Ree or Tomar yeah, Tomar Ray. Ru? Tomar Ray. Oh Ray. Oh wow! You're going one third with this too. <laughs> Dude, he well, got they, in the he uh, got in the Stewart, fight. He's got have done a John Stewart head if there is yeah, there. Are... But this they is have just two, a switch out um, head for the Hal Jordan. Yeah, the Hal Jordan. So they have two Hal Jordan heads where one's looking up. And then one looking down. Why wouldn't you do a John Stewart head? Yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, well, isn't the gloves different on John Stewart? Isn't it green? There's a joke to be made there, not, but not, I'm not making it. <laughs> not if it's an OG. <laughs> you racist. I'm oh, the not original, the one that's not making yeah, it. Yeah, if you just make the first version green, Hal Jordan, then make the first version John Stewart. They both uh, have the yeah, same costume. Work. Uh, I think the prime one. Um, how Jordan is the best Green Lantern statue to be made. Yeah, uh, I, I like that one too. <laughs> He's got Lelou's costume from Fifth Element. <laughs> but yeah, those are it. But uh, I like that uh, Aquaman. Finally. Oh, like Jesse says the end. sideshow is a vampire, a demon, and a witch. Damn. Are you going to get sucked in, Jerry? I know you are, so I don't know why you're asking. <laughs> I need to drag somebody down with me. <laughs> oh, oh, so Jerry, you no. got the uh, Vampirella, the Prime One. Yeah, it's, it's still uh, boxed up. No, no, I haven't paid for. I haven't paid it off yet. It's one more payment at Sideshow. It, it'll be here beginning of May. Okay. Well, next tax return. <laughs> oh, that was that was probably getting unboxed. I, I can't let these things sit around long anymore. I've got a, I I can't discover problems with these statues after the thirty what thirty day window. So, so if there is a problem with it, I get it for a discount. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem with it. It's probably either going to get resolved by sideshow or sent back to sideshow. Oh wow. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, let's work on the stack you've got so far right now. I'm gonna have to. I'm going to rearrange the the garage, and I'm gonna have arcs pile over. <laughs> don't forget my small pile too, Jerry. You don't have a pile. <laughs> hey, I almost got together a. Uh, box I bought a few from that. Jerry. Where's your tax Where's return? Jerry? Yeah, Ramon, know, you should be getting one now. <laughs> Ramon's Am I probably the only one that owes? Uh, I'm saving it for size. Ramon doesn't file taxes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like that's more racist than the comment you were going to say earlier. I know. Can you believe it, Art? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> well, Britain's asking him. I haven't unboxed LBS Hulk yet. Uh, Dude, I you better know. unbox it. I'm unboxing. I was. It was. It was on the agenda, the agenda for this weekend, but I ran out of time. Yeah, I got well, uh, I got one statue unbox this weekend. Two more on the on the in on deck. We are uh, running out of uh, shorts, so some of you better. Uh, <laughs> we need some shorts. Yeah, I know. Well, we film yeah, last now, one launched today. Now so. that we hit three K, we gotta get to four K. Yeah. How dare you, Danny? I'll send you something sometime. <laughs> you said that last week. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Ramon, I found a, a box that'll fit uh, your uh, Lobo portrait in your uh, your cup that I'm sending. Oh, me. awesome! So I think I'll uh, hopefully. I'm not going to say any <laughs> terms, <laughs> but uh, ho hopefully not going to make any promises. <laughs> yeah, hopefully yeah, it's go. done sooner than later. <laughs> that that's not Thanks, a money Art. thing. That's Laziness thing by me. I mean, I got to send all of you cups. And are, you, uh, are your kids shipping. using them? <laughs> no, uh, they're they're in a box, but I don't think this box is good for shipping. Um, so I got to find a better box. I guess I should go to the post office. Well, ship Danny's in an envelope. 
Jeez. <laughs> I'm going to ship Danny's with Ramones, and that way they have to meet up. <laughs> I'm going to go to ship it to my house then. Screw yeah, fool. You can drive to me. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm always put Lobo's head inside the cup. <laughs> I want mine filled with your favorite alcohol. <laughs> uh, you couldn't handle my favorite alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he needs that. He needs that head art. Uh, I don't know why you want that one. I still I think the. Uh, it. I always like Lobo with the dreads. Yeah, the portrait that's on is the better portrait. But wow, yeah. Arkyo and sent that portrait. Yeah, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm a tire kicker. I, it's pure laziness for everything. Hit the button, Jerry. Hit it. Uh, sorry, I didn't have it. I didn't have it off. <laughs> It's going to talk about boobies. Bye, folks. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> Next week, we'll do the uh, drawing game. I'm going to send... No. Uh, no, yeah. no, no. Wait no. For, wait till I come back for the drawing game. Uh, All right. right. I'll wait on the Kahoot, too. I was going to do one next week, but we'll wait till Jose gets back. <laughs> so Jose. join us here each week, my friends. You're sure to get a smile from several addicted statue nuts. <laughs>